Can you imagine? Again, I mean, I'm saying this because I want people to understand. That 12-year-old girl that wrote in her diary, one day I'm going to meet this woman. She's so beautiful. I cannot wait. To see her, to see, to, to have her see you crying and to see her, like, walk past you. Like, you ain't shit. Like, so? That hurt. Like, that 12-year-old child in me, like, still probably is a little bit triggered by it. No, it I don't mean... need a sorry. I don't need a... Do you know what I do need? Let me tell you what I need. I need a check. <laughs> for my pain and suffering. Everybody go. Everybody go. <laughs> Every time I decide not to do my makeup, you girls get on here and I well, feel away. I didn't know what they was expecting. Maybe they was expecting to see the girl that they saw the last time they watched America Get Some Other Side to show them that it's not that anymore. Girl, you are beautiful. Thank you, Oliver. So are you. Oh, here she go. Here she go. So are here you. She go. You know Thank how I feel you. about your face. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, everyone, I I, I want to share the story, impossible, if, if it's okay with you, on when I deemed you and everything. Please, so, yeah, please do. Well, you tell it, actually. Okay, so over lockdown in London, I have been watching religiously Chasing Atlanta. And two of my favorite cast members was Oliver and Lauren. So, you know, I feel like the law of attraction works in a certain way because I feel like when you put the energy out there, the people will just come to you. Mm -hmm. So I was actually off social media when you DM'd me. I wasn't actually active at all. I logged back on and then I noticed a DM from Oliver. <laughs> I was like, there is a God. Like, there is... <laughs> I, at, at first, I didn't think it was your account. I'm going to be honest, because I I feel like you should be verified. Yeah, that's just my opinion. I just feel like you should be verified. So I didn't really know if it was you or like, you know, like a fan page or uh -huh. something along those lines. And then we started talking. I felt like talking to you made me feel like i would known you all my life. Really? Which is like strange for me, because I'm not very friendly these uh -huh. days so when i started talking to you i was like oh my god like i know who you are and he's like what you know who i am i know who you it was just like the weirdest like experience but so authentic and so organic no it really was and you know i'm always so honored um especially when moments like this happen because i tell people all the time like you know I don't be thinking too much about anything about, you know, what I do and who I am and, you know, whatever, whatever in my brain and in my brain, I always think I'm not doing enough. So Same. like when that moment happened, I was like, Oh, okay. Well, like, this is, this is so freaking dope because someone who I watched on TV and like I said, girl, I am a top model super fan. Like, you know how those nerds really like Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon and like they collect the cards and stuff like that. <laughs> and all that stuff. That's how I am about top model. Like top model is, that's my, that's my little nerdy thing. So it was just like, wait, I know you. You were like, well, bitch, I know you. And I was like, yeah, I was like, no, I know you. You like, what? I know you. It was just the weirdest conversation, but like so organic. So like, oh, the best. Alicia, you look, you look like Spice. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't, don't, don't do that. You look, baby, doesn't she look like Spice? Don't do that. You look like don't Spice. Do that. Don't do that because I love Spice. Don't do that. Don't. I try don't to. Let me see if I can. I love Spice. Spice is like life. I'm sorry. 
Oh, if everyone, if everyone, if anyone doesn't know, I'm from Caribbean heritage. So Spice is someone that I've been following since her first ever single. Like, so now I've seen her growth. It's just like, it's a beautiful thing. So to give the people context who are watching, Spice is a, is a client of mine who I helped build her. Um, I do like her YouTube specifically. Like, you know, I film her, I edit it, and I market it. Um, and so I'm just looking at you right now. I'm like, you look like her little sister. It, I think it's a Jamaican thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, I just think it's a Jamaican thing. I think we all have, like, kind of similar features. So, like, the skin and, like, the... The, the cheekbones and the jawline, like we kind of all have that sort of like... Type thing. Yeah, yeah, thing, yeah. Well, I'm just letting you know today, Mama, you are beautiful and I feel so honored that you got all gussied up. Of course, for you, anything for you. <laughs> well, listen, with that being said, thank you and we're gonna jump into it. Girl, you know you're like a trending topic when it comes to America's Next Time Model Cycle 18. You know this, know, right? But nobody talks to me about it. People ask other people about me. I don't understand that one. I don't get that. Well, I'm not that type of bitch. I goes to the source. Of course. Of course. That's what you <laughs> <should do. laughs> How does it feel to, like, to know that, like, how important you are to that piece of top model history? To be honest with you, I'm going to be honest. Like, I never wanted to be famous. Like, I'm just uh -huh. a girl from South London that wanted to get out of the hood, wanted to do modeling. I've wanted to be a model since the age of six. Like... It, it never crossed my mind about being famous. And I, I want everybody to know that I'm not, I don't care about that stuff. I could have been famous a hundred times. Like, mm -hmm. I, I really don't care for all of that. I just wanted to model. So to know that I'm like, because I remember like after leaving the show, I had so many interviews with like press people. Mm -hmm. And one of the uh, titles or one of the journalists said to me, but how did it feel to say no to Tyra? And I'm, I was thinking like, She's a human being. Like, what do you mean? What do you mm -hmm. mean what it felt like to say no to her? I didn't feel comfortable being there. Like, my mental health was deteriorating, like, day by day, week by week. Um, this is something that I believe they were actively watching on cameras as well, which wasn't nice. You know, it's not a nice thing to, to see someone come in so confident and then leave so, like, in despair. It's just not a good thing. And I felt like I had to do what I had to do for me at the end of the day. Without giving away too much, because we're still at the top of the interview, sure. your 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 mental um, decline. Do you attribute that to things that were going on with you as a person, or was it things that were going on on the show, or was okay. it a combination of both? So uh, what I will say is that for anyone that doesn't know, I was actually on Britain's Next Top Model first, and mm -hmm. um, I had very 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 difficult time with them after the show. Um, I'm sure some of you guys know already, and I, I hope some of the girls have said, but when you leave these shows, you're on a contract with them for quite a while. So you're not able to do much. And I'm a very active person. So being on hold was a very, quite a tough thing for me to do. Not only that, honestly, when, when I got told to come to America's Next Top Model, I probably should have said no because I hadn't fully healed from my experience from Britain's Next Top Model. But... You know, after some careful consideration and my own, like, thought process, I thought, you know, this is the franchise of the brand. This is the maker of the brand. So if I'm going to go and do do it, I'm going to be in great hands because it started there. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's why I went. So to answer your question, I would say it was a mixture of both. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, both fr franchises didn't really help. Alicia, would you ever consider being my girlfriend? I just can't get over how pretty you are right now. Oh, would, uh, absolutely. Now, I do have a boyfriend, <laughs> so, like, that would be an issue with it. Did he, did he have an issue? Baby, would you have an issue? He said no. Okay. <laughs> I'm just looking at you, and I'm just really, just really, like, just mesmerized okay. on how beautiful stop. you are. Uh, honestly, can you... <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> No, Alicia, you are beautiful. Like, just from your teeth, your mannerisms, how you're just, whole, like, I am just so mesmerized on how beautiful I'm sorry, you are. I'm, I'm black girl blushing right now. I'm so sorry. Thank you. <laughs> and you know, and you know, I'm sitting here questioning myself because I'm like, I don't like women. <laughs> 
Or maybe you do. <laughs> so a little segue. My boyfriend has a strong theory. Like he has a strong theory that secretly I am attracted to women because I because I'm a gay man who's right. never had any relations with a woman ever in life, oh, no. and I don't. No, and I don't have any interest on doing it because it's just not an interest of mine. I've never been interested in it, you know? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a girl. I don't like girls at all, but I can, like, I see some really beautiful women. I'm like, oh, my God, wow. Maybe that's what it is because on the inside, I think I'm a woman. So maybe I'm just like, ooh, I'm, I'm just admiring another, yeah, 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 another female energy. And, I, you know, every gay best friend I've ever had have always fancied. Honestly. Because I feel like they know how to treat women and they're like your best friend and then they're beautiful and then they're just like so fun. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> straight. <laughs> like they know how to dress you. Like they'll tell you if you're looking a hot mess. Like it's yes. just the best relationship. Like that's it what is you the best want. Relationship. Yes. So listen, so you came from Britain's next top model. Mm -hmm. Um, What happened after that? That um, kind of left a bad taste in your mouth. Now we know, um, Britain's Next Top Model, the 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 final judging and selection process, and all those types of things. And you know, fans have their opinions about how your track record was greater and should have solidified you as, as the winner, which didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Was that what caused your experiences after the show to be bad, or was there other things going on? There was Tell that, me. but there was other things after. Like I actually actively went to them to seek help because. I was deteriorating. Like, imagine, right? I turned 18 years old in that contest. I didn't see my mom, nothing. Like, we don't have anything. So I turned 18, year old in, 18 years old in that contest, or 19 years old, I can't remember which one, but 18 or 19. And you're a child when you're 18. I don't care who's 18 on here that thinks they're a big person. Like, no, you're a when child. you're 18 years old, you're a kid. You don't know we're shit. Years you don't know nothing. Mm -mm. So, with that being said, after the show, I kind of, like, reached out to the production team. I was like, listen, I don't know what direction to turn in because I don't... I'm not sure how this game works. Like, I'm not trying to be famous. I'm not trying to be anyone's, like, girlfriend or anything. I'm not trying to do that. I just want to model. That's it. Um... And I remember I went to the office and like I sat there, I was crying and I knew I should have brought my mom, but I went alone. And they basically told me like, if you tell anyone what you've told us, like how you're deteriorating, all of this stuff, like no one's gonna believe you. So get on with it, basically. Just get on with it. The host at the time called me and told me I was ungrateful because I was coming to them and asking for help. So as, a, as an 18 year old, imagine that, like someone you look up to and then them telling you that no one's gonna believe you if you go to the press and you're truly ungrateful and or, like. That's crazy. It was a lot. There was other things that happened as well, but it, it was a lot. It was a lot for me. And so you said that you deciding to do America's Next Top Model rooted mainly in you wanting to be a part of the 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 mother of the yeah. franchise. But what were some other things that made you rationalize doing it? Because when I was 12 years old, I wrote in my diary, I'm, one day I'm going to meet Tyra. And I was going to make that happen for that 12-year-old kid that wrote and, that. And she was someone that, like you looked up to and everything. Absolutely. I watched America's Next Top Model from the first time it started. Yeah, and I said to, I always tell my mom I'm going on that show, and everyone I'm sure everyone thought like, how? Like, girl, you live in the UK. This this show is in the US. Like, but I told myself that I'm a strong believer, and I told everybody like, I manifested all of these things into my life. Like, I I strongly believe that. I prayed on it from young, you know what I mean. So I, I wanted to go on it because I wanted to do that for that 12 year old person. And I'll connect with you about the powers of manifestation, like. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I have so many stories about just manifesting, manifesting, but even doing this, girl, who, uh, jump jump in the time machine and tell a young me who was a big top model fan yeah. that fast forward years later, I would be curating this type of content and, and, and have these type of conversations with exactly. you girls. Like, that's crazy to me. And yeah. even down to the show that I'm working on right now, oh, um, the guy, you guys have heard me say it before, the producer of our show was a producer on Top Model. Like, if that's not the powers of man manifestation, I, exactly. I don't know what is. 
Exactly. So, so exactly. I get it. And you know, when, when those type of things happen and those opportunities happen, it's something on the inside that makes you feel okay about it. Cause it's like, oh my God, like. Yeah, it's like, oh God answered my prayers. Like mm -hmm. this must be it. This has mm -hmm. to be it. Like if I wrote it and I believed it and now I've manifested, this is it. Like, like this is it, it gotta be it. It's got to be. So you hop on the plane to touch the air, ooh, little white seats. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna... <laughs> <laughs> so you hopped on the plane Woo! and you came to America. Yeah. We didn't see your brother. Not too much. I'm sorry, y'all. My brother's here visiting me. He it's doesn't okay. know about the things of the thing. It's okay. He don't. He don't care. He don't care. But anyway, so you come over here. We don't see you guys this audition week. What was it like meeting the producers? And did you get a chance to meet Tyra? And if you did, what was that like? First of all, what people don't know is we were stuck in a hotel room for like six days. Didn't oh. see the light of day. <laughs> Only through outside a window. Six days, imagine. Lockdown, before it was lockdown. Yeah? We was in a room for six days. We got our food outside our door. Someone would knock the door would open the door get our food from the floor and like literally go in the room shut the door we didn't know who was like we didn't know i didn't know for example i didn't know that annalise's room was in front of my room i didn't know sophie's room was like two doors down and we didn't know we didn't know nothing like literally in that time i was rushed to hospital because i had a virus in my face I, like my my brain felt like it was exploding like i was ill they had to put like a netty porter through my nose and like drain, like it was just like a lot. So they didn't show that bit like at all. And it wasn't filmed. Um, I, I'm not sure within that time they knew what they were doing with us, to be honest. Cause I think, I believe that they were still um, auditioning American girls during that si those six days. I, I'm not sure what they were doing, but they, it just seemed like they didn't know what they were doing because I never had that experience with Britons. Britons, you just got on. Like it wasn't this. You're in a room, and then you know you're never coming out, and don't answer the door, and all of this stuff. We didn't have that. Then, finally, one day they say, "Are oh, you going to go downstairs and meet Tyra?" And I was like, "Okay, cool." So we go downstairs, and we go in one by one. And I go in, and I remember like she's sitting in a chair like this, like really like laid back, relaxed, and I'm geeked. 19-year-old Alicia is geek the fuck out. Like, I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> this is the lady. Like, wait until I tell my mom, like, oh, all my friends, oh my God. Like, I'm, imagine a 19-year-old so excited to meet someone that she's dreamed about, like, literally. And I get one dry high, like, hi, Alicia. Tyra Banks? Indeed. Hi, Alicia. I'm like, oh. I'm like, hi. Like, because I'm just, She's beautiful. She's radiating. I don't even think that day she had makeup on. She just looked dreamy. Like, I was so excited. And then she asked me where I'm from. And I said, oh, I'm from the UK, so the South. She goes, oh. What's that about? Like, why am I getting this energy? Like, why am I getting this energy right now? I wasn't understanding it. And then I realized. The person that she said bullied her all her life in the modeling industry came from South London, not too far from where I was from. So maybe when she looks at me, she sees her. Maybe, I don't know. After that, she was triggered by me for the rest of the con contest. That's how I feel anyway. That's my like little theory. I'm probably wrong, but that's just how I, you know. I just so felt like since then, she just didn't, she weren't feeling me. So before I continue my questions and <laughs> top model fans, you know, I can't help but to think or recognize a certain motif, a motif in these types of things. Mm -hmm. um, Eugenia Washington, who I talked to a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. um, to me, out of any contestant that's ever been on, on top model, looks the, the closest to Naomi Campbell. And it's she it. said- It's a rap for you. And she said she had a hard time. Tiffany Richardson um, kind of sort of resembled Naomi. Yeah. And they, when Tyra was giving her her makeover, she said, we're going to give you Naomi hair down to the floor. And then, you know, she got that. And so now you're telling me you felt like 
the energy she gave you was a triggering of you reminding her of. I'm yeah. not saying I'm saying this this hearing you say this is makes my brain start to you mm -hmm. know. It's innocent though. It's like if I was to see Tyra again, I'd be I I'd go into a state. I would be traumatized. Well, I'm glad I don't look like her. Yeah, you Okay, so and so is there anything else that happened in that initial meeting that you had with her? Like, you know, like 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 was there any questions about like af after her asking you where were you from? Like was there any other follow up questions? No, she asked me to walk and then told me to leave. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was it. I came outside, everyone's asking, How was it? How was it? How was it? We're like I came outside, bye. Were, and so, did, uh oh, no, do not do this on this day. Are you here? Can you see me? I can see you, you're back. Okay. I'm back, you're back. So, did you have any other conversations with any of the other girls? It was like, hey, what was your interactions like with Tyra? Exactly. So, when we came out, we were like, how did it go? How did it go? And I'm like, I sighed. And what did they say? Like, what was their reaction? Yeah, like, like, everyone no. was kind of confused because it's the way it happened. It was very quick and it was very swift. So, but, but like, theirs, but their, but their meetings were, were weren't like that. No, everyone's meeting was very quick and swift. Gotcha. Okay. But like, some people did come up. Was like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. She's so nice, and I didn't have that reaction. I mm, gotcha. Okay. That wasn't for me. Like, I didn't have that reception. Unfortunately. <laughs> Still trying to understand why. Like <laughs> Tara Banks. Tara. Tara. <laughs> We're gonna get into these fan questions. I pull questions from YouTube and Instagram. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm gonna be shouting these people out as we're doing this video. Okay. So listen, so the first question I'm gonna ask comes from Mr. Daly Jr., who's asking, What are your thoughts on Kyle versus everyone during the commercial? <laughs> Can I just say, right? I love Carl. I still talk to Carl to this day. Oh, nice. Yeah, Carl's a nice person. She's a nice girl. Like, a mm -hmm. really nice, spirited person. And I wish that maybe we wasn't in a contest together because Carl, if I lived in America, Carl would definitely be my friend. Do you understand? Oh. But what people need to understand is when you're in a comp, this is a competition. Mm -hmm. We're not break dreams. We're not friends. We're not this is friends. not America's next best okay. friend race okay if you if you're if you're screwing up somewhere <laughs> we gonna tell you mm -hmm. girl get out of the way like you're in my way like do you understand as a 90 year old who's hungry for something we don't care we're not veterans after this i may never speak to you again do you understand it's a competition we want to win so if you have a weak streak somewhere in like basically we all felt like we did better than Carl. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone felt like they did better than Kyle. Yeah. And I didn't think my performance was the best, but I knew I did better than her. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if anyone remembers the there was a focus group, which I believe was a group of actors in a in a in a room. And when they critiqued me, they said this girl looks like she should be selling chicken. I remember that, and I was like... And why she have an African accent? First of all, what's wrong with having an African accent? Not a damn thing. I don't have an African accent. I have a British accent. Mm -hmm. Also, why do I look like I should be, should be, should be selling chicken? Why? Because I'm black? I don't know why they let that air on TV, because... Even if that what let's just say that wasn't like contrived or actors weren't hired to say that, that's not cute. Like, like the girls, were, like all the girls were like mortified when they heard my critique. Like they were like everyone, doesn't matter what color they were, they were all mortified. Like, I would have wow. been mortified because that first of all, that's so uncomfortable to hear in a here in a public space on a public setting, and then you add the fact that there's cameras were like. How, it, how do you say this in front of this woman, in front of all of us, in front of everyone in the world? And then you air that stuff. And then you air it, meaning that the people in charge of the show are complicit. 
in our, I don't know if it's tone deaf, I don't know if, I don't know what it is, but you let this go out in the airways of, and let this be said about this black woman. Disrespectful on everything. Yes, about some respect to, on to my name because at the end of the day, just because, just because you, you guys are in control of something, we, there has to be like, a little bit of element of respect. Respect, Just a little bit. Alicia, you was brown. Thanks. And you know, I'm I'm just gonna play devil's advocate because you know whatever mm -hmm. whatever. I, uh, you, <laughs> on top model, there's been so many uh, aired negative comments on black women, like Racism. like selling chicken. Let's talk about Kelly Jacob from Cycle 3 and the airing of Monkey Jaw. Let's talk about Danny and her gap and her accent. Let's talk about other little, like, just microaggressions of whatever, whatever. I ain't never heard them, I ain't never hear them ever air anything close to say about um, Trailer Park Trash. Me either. And not Please saying that I agree with that. I, I've never heard I don't it. agree with that, but it's like, I've never, I've never heard it on Top Model. Do you know what I think? I feel like taken away from top model, but we're still using them as an example. Society feel like when they say something about a black woman, she should just be able to take it because they see us as not feminine, not soft, not sweet. So if they say something to me like that, I think they were looking for a reaction that they did not get. Like, I think they wanted me to get up and be on this rah, rah, like, da, 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 da. and I didn't do that. Like I got very still because I was kind of taken back. Like, the host of this show is black. Make it make sense. But it doesn't. So it, they 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 can't. <sighs> Going back before I get I jump back into these comments. Um, mm -hmm. not the comments, but the questions. In the comments, guys, I'm seeing you guys say Annalise is here. Is Annalise here watching? Is Annalise here? Is she here? Is Annalise here? <laughs> I know there's I know there's a delay, so I'm just gonna keep asking until someone comments below. Is Annalise here? You know, Annalise was one of my favorite personalities on that show. She has no, she has an amazing personality and Annalise does what she does best. If Annalise did not win that um challenge, I would have been like, what are they doing right now? And so you guys hear me say all the time, Top Model, you know, influenced me a lot. I will say when it came, when it comes to opportunities I've had in the past in talking and even, you know, just in like, just me doing these types of things and how I try to use my personality to attack, you know, these types of opportunities. I really, I go back to how I saw Annalise do on Top yeah, she, Model. Like, she's she, she just was so good. Yeah, so good. She like, she can just talk. Like it, it doesn't, it doesn't fit, and it always makes sense. It just, it makes sense. <laughs> like it always makes sense, even if you can't like keep up. You you have to might you might have to go and sit down somewhere for a little bit, and analyze what she said, and be like, actually, it makes sense. But I didn't get it at the time, but now I understand. And it's like even if it didn't make sense, the way she presented it, and she's smiling, exactly. and she's, whatever it is, it I'm gonna believe it. It's like you sound good. Just stop. Like I don't ever, I don't even have time to argue. Like. You sound good, so it must be right. How, do you guys keep in contact or like? Well, not if I wouldn't say we have like a friendship or a relationship, and it's only because. And if she's watching, like, not to put her on heat, but like there was a comment that she made to me, and it's kind of never left me. Kind of what thing. What is she saying? She just it's like she could DM me. We could talk about it. I'm not, like I'm not here to like make her feel bad or anything like that there was just a comment that was made not on camera but and i felt a bit like oh okay you felt like what oh like... <laughs> okay so betsy buckmaster wants to know did laura hook up with that chinese film star their chemistry was hot <laughs> i don't know boy probably <laughs> yeah. i don't know Do you know what um that day we always tired we all went to go home. Um, the chemistry was mad. And it was like that in real life. Mm. Off camera as well. But mm. I think that Laura is just a very... Um, she exudes mm. sex. And ain't nothing wrong with that. 
No, ain't nothing wrong. At 19, I thought, ew. But now, at my age, I'm like, mm. But Mama was on TV, to something. I think sometimes you have to learn to bring it here, <laughs> you know? Because sometimes it's here and it needs to be here. <laughs> yeah. Alicia, do you... Just a, a quick a quick departure. Like, have you ever considered ever doing YouTube videos or like whatever, I whatever? Have YouTube, I have a YouTube channel. I am Alicia White. I have one. And like, and, 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 and you put stuff up on there? Yeah, but I don't really, like, I'm not going to lie. It's not my best because I should really be talking a lot more, but yeah. You're so funny. Like, I'm just, I'm just watching. You're Thanks. just so funny. Like, I'm just so entertained right now. That's, like, one of my best qualities. Like, when people ask me, what do you like about yourself? I say, I don't look like I'm funny, but I'm funny. No, you are hilarious. <laughs> you are cracking me up right now. Okay, so X-Men Bioforce wants to know, did you hear about Catherine having a blog bashing everyone in the show? Oh, no, not Catherine. So I saw... I saw a lot of questions about Catherine and the blog and the show. Now I didn't do I didn't have enough time to go do homework to try to see what they were talking about. But it was a lot of questions about Catherine, the show, and people on the show and the the people in the comments, if you guys can educate Alicia and I right now on what on what it is about. But yes, what? girl, it was a bunch of questions about it. Miss Catherine, Miss Catherine, oh God, Miss no, Catherine. Really? Um, honestly, to God, I had I have no idea about that, and I love Catherine to death. Like I felt like I had a very close relationship with her. So if she did write anything negative about me or any of the British girls, can't talk to the Americans, but the British girls, <laughs> I would be offended. Well, see, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't do. The people say the blog is not available, but they say yes, she did. I see. Yes, girl. Um, they said super. <laughs> Yeah, apparently, okay, so, okay, so, oh, Annalise, Anna, from, from the words of oh, Annalise, thank you, Annalise, something. Annalise says, apparently, she did have a vlog, people sent me screenshot links, but I think she was just venting, oh, okay, well, thank you, Annalise, for coming in and giving us Well, you need an escape, innit, you need somewhere to plant those thoughts, because it's a lot, it's a lot, but mm -hmm. I just hope that she didn't say anything bad about us, because, like, yeah, that would be mad, like, that would be mad, <laughs> I'd be really disappointed. So, can I ask a question? It when you say mad, is that is that my way of saying like that? That's crazy. Oh, that, yeah, that. basically. Sorry. So yeah. For, no, 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 no. Don't apologize. I'm, I'm I'm learning. No, I need to help. Yeah. Okay. So if I say, oh, that's mad, I'll be like, I'm shocked. Wow. Like that's that's out of this world. Like, why would she want to do that? <laughs> like why? Like why? What did we do? So y'all, so I'm gonna tell y'all. So Alicia and I had a small chat yesterday, just not talking about the live, but we just chatted up a little bit. And she was drinking. Um, she was <laughs> tell them, tell them, Alicia, tell them. Okay, so basically in London, we would call something like this. Like, Girl, not that you had one ready right there. Yes, not that you had, had one ready. <laughs> not that not. <laughs> I was drinking it earlier. Honestly, it's not a prop. Um. Yeah, so we would call something like that, like a carton juice or like a box juice. And what did you say you call it, Oliver? Like, what would you call this? <laughs> you don't remember what I said. A box in a juice? A juice in no, a juice? No, we, we would say, we would call it, okay, so, okay, what, okay. So I'm in America, but you know, you know, a country has different, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, dialects, whatever. So I'm from Florida, which is like South United States, which okay. is, you know, that is that's black yeah it's a south okay. south okay, okay okay so where i'm from we would say something like that's a juice box girl give me a juice box girl i'm going to, I'm going to the store to get a juice box <laughs> <That's> a juice <laughs> box <laughs> a juice box a juicy juice good, and i'm gonna start using it <laughs> no i am i'm gonna start using juice box gonna get a juice no but i feel like i have to do the accent as well I'm Let me hear it. can i get a juice box like they're gonna be like what I have to say juice box. Can I get a juice box? <laughs> now, my accent, my accent is, um, I'm from South Florida. South Florida. So that's where, my, like, my accent is kind of from the black people that are from South Florida, which... Of course, yeah. Baby, yeah, I, I, like, I, I love every American accent. accent. What'd you say? I love every American accent. Like, mm, you guys so, yes. the same. But you have to say, girl, give me a juice box. 
girl, give me a juice box. And then if you want to spice it up, you have you have to you have to talk it with your fingers. Like, girl, give me a juice box. Girl, give me a juice box. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Let me move on because I'll get lost <laughs> doing that all day with you, girl. Okay, so Betsy, um, okay, I already asked her. Super savage. In hindsight, how does she feel about that situation with waking Simone up? Did she think she went too far? Any other stories to tell regarding that night and or Simone? Simone! Um, first of all, I talked to Simone as well. Oh, nice. Well, good. That's good to know. I to Simone as well. And I'm 19. I'm bored. <laughs> I need something to do. Like, that's all. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't my idea. It was Sophie's idea. <laughs> so no said, I was... I'm feeling frisky. Mm -hmm. I want to do something. And I said, what's the idea? And she said, let's sit on the floor and like, uh, like scrunch up these balls. And I remember, <laughs> like, like Annalise can, can, can quote me on this. I remember Annalise looking at us like, don't do it. Don't. <laughs> don't do that. Like, mm -hmm. And we were like, no, we're bored, we're bored. But it was Sophie's idea originally. We were bored. We went in there, we threw some paper. We probably shouldn't have done it. But you're 19, you're young, you're on your silly. Very, Just very doing silly. stuff. And you know, I, in, 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 in hindsight, and even now, when, when you're watching TV, I don't think people realize the age of people when they're on their shows. And it's like, yeah. bitch, when you were that age, what were you doing? Exactly. And not only that, like, no TV, no phone, no magazine, no book, no nothing. And Annalise said she went and drank her wine. She, she said, did. <laughs> That's you yes, guys. Yes, Annalise. Annalise. Okay, real side note. So Annalise, you know, Everyone that's watching, Annalise does her own um, top model content on her YouTube channel. So make sure you guys go check it out. And I was like, should I ask Annalise, does she want to talk? Because I didn't really want to infringe on what she does. But, you know, she already does top model content. But Annalise, oh, girl, yeah, yeah. Oh, she yeah, already yeah, does yeah, top yeah, model yeah, content. Yeah. So, you know, I just wanted, you know, I didn't want to mix the two. Yeah, mix the yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever, whatever. But I just think Annalise, I just think she is just so funny and just so no she's funny she's like her personality is always on a hundred even on a bad day like mm -hmm. she will make you feel good like she 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 uh radiates like a light of like it might be a shit day but mm -hmm. we're gonna make it happen like you know we'll make it, happen. So it helps it helps you need someone like that in the house i think you need it yeah. She's sensible as well. I wasn't very sensible. I, I'm still not. So I don't follow rules, like guidelines, nothing. Like I'm an outlaw to the T. So it's nice to have someone like Annalise there just to be like, mm -hmm. rein it in. Big up yourself, Annalise. Yeah. Big it's up nice. yourself. Okay, so next question. Oh, here we go. I'm just going to say a couple of lines. Are you ready? Okay. So this is from PHSDM104. I've told y'all multiple, multiple times about these screen names. These screen names are long. I mean, like, girl, where do y'all find these things from? Exactly. <laughs> but this is what they said. They said, legs for days, making waves, pot leader, runway teacher, couture strata like no other, sincerely a stunner, Alicia. Can you please do it for us right now? What was it? Um, oh, the, uh, wait, hold on. Give me the line one more time. Wait, hold on. What's the beginning? Do you know what I only remember it from? Control Strata, like no other, sincerely a stunner, Alicia. I don't remember the first line, ever. You wrote it, right? No, we didn't write it. Lisa wrote them. Uh-oh. Is my top model card being revoked right now? Yeah, Lisa. I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> Lisa wrote them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Cause she came her. back. Mm hmm She did. Yeah. Okay. I well, wish I'm gonna I help you out. Because I was gonna tell you up, oh, girl. I was like, girl, how does your song you don't know your line? No, I wish I wrote my own bars, honestly. Cause what you would have said. I don't know, but I would have made it a bit more gritty. I don't know. But I like the Give me something so. right now. Give me something right now. Channel your inner spice. Channel like, your inner spice. I'd have been like long legs for days. That's why the man them look and gaze. Keep them in a the haze all day. You know, I wouldn't. You know what I mean? Add a bit of. <laughs> <laughs> the, the probably, line... you know, probably on like a bashment beat or something like. 
You know what I mean? Because they gave us quite like a... The beat was good. They kind of dressed us up like the Spice Girls. I, I could see where they were going with that. The styling was good. I believe the styling was good. The song wasn't bad, but I feel like the bars were a bit cheesy. I mean, it's Top Model Girl. Yeah, the bars were a bit cheesy. Do you like hip-hop? I love hip-hop. Who are some of your favorite artists? Nicki Minaj, all day, every day. What's, what's your favorite Nicki verse? Oh, my God. You don't fuck me, you fuck my old body. You, that that one, new body and oh, there's so many. Oh my god. Okay. Um, what's my favorite? Alicia, you are a no, beautiful. No, you can't girl. ask me that. That's a, that's that's that's. Oh. Y'all no make fillers. me sick. No, no fillers. Y'all make me sick. I'm over it. Just black doesn't crack. Yeah. <laughs> just, just doesn't. It's called good okay. jeans. So, going back to the questions of the fans, X-Men Bioforce, okay, right, see, girl, it was another question. It was another question about Catherine in this blog. It was what? Question. No, you know, don't break my heart, please. I'm no, I, see, I don't know. I, I don't know, but but Annalise said that it was nothing. She was just venting. Annalise said it was nothing. Right, Annalise? Annalise said it was nothing. She okay. said it was nothing. Okay, but Jonathan Fletcher wants to know, what loved many questions about this? And so I ask you, friend, as I'm asking you this, try to remember everything from that okay. moment, from that day. Because the okay. people watching now, and definitely the ones that will watch this on YouTube, okay. want to know. And if they, do not, if they do not get what they believe to be a comprehensive recollection, they will terrorize my DMs. I know. They will terrorize my comment section. And I don't want to be terrorized. OK, OK. Let me try and remember. So I'm going to ask you this question. Would love to know about the fight between Luis and Kelly. Was it as bad as what was put on TV? Or worse, what was the deal between Laura and Ebony? Don't answer that last question yet. Luis and Kelly Catron. First of all... Did I say her last name right? Catron, right? Yeah, Catron. Yeah. Catron. First of all, Luis is my good sis. Like, I talk to her often, mm -hmm. like, often. So I feel a little bit uncomfortable speaking for her, but I'm going to do her right. Louise is a bad bitch. I just want everyone to know this now. Okay? Louise ain't give up. She is gritty. And if you say anything to her that is disrespectful, um, not polite, um, left-handed, Sounds like shade, but maybe not shade, but could be shade, but I'm not sure. She's going to say something to you because she's not a punk. She's not a punk at all. So in that situation, they kind of always butted heads. And it started from the photo shoot that we did with, um, I forgot who the campaign was for, but Annalise will know. I, Annalise will, I can't remember who the campaign mm -hmm. was for. They were butting heads on set and stuff. Gotcha. And, you know, me and Louise would go up in the corner, ha like, scuffle our mics and talk. Like, <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this, Alicia. I can't do it with this woman. Like, And I'm like, listen, just hang in there. Like, maybe she's just playing a role. You know, every judge plays a role. Like, maybe she's the Simon Cow of the show. So just let her be Simon. Like, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? It's not, about, it's not about them. It's about us. Everyone kind of tried to talk to Louise about it, but... What I love about Louise is that she don't care. So that day on elimination, when Louise stepped up and they were giving her critique, every time, I felt like every time Louise tried to speak, she was cutting her off. Kelly. Yes. And that's irritating. That's irritating. Because what you're trying to do there is you're trying to basically say, what you say does not matter. I'm the judge. I have authority here. You listen to me. Like, and I just didn't like the way the conversation was going on. And I remember we were standing up behind her in the lineup and we were just looking at each other like, it's about to go down. <laughs> I knew, like I said, this is it. She's tired of this woman. So she is going to explode. And rightfully so she did. Because you know, she's not a little girl. She's not a little girl. She's not in her teens. She's a big woman. So you can't be just 
talking to her anyway like yeah we understand you're giving us critique and you're there to judge us on our performance and we understand all of that but there has to be an element of respect do you know I, do you understand what i'm trying to say so louise just was like no nah, that's it i'm done so she walked off the stage and i think you can see i'm trying to like hold her like no come back and they were like let her go let her go and in my head i was thinking i don't know where you lot are from but when my friend walks off like that we follow to see if she's going to be all right we had a brief break because when louise went backstage she was going off like cussing swearing do like everything and i knew that like in that time me and like we just wanted to be there for her i think everybody did even the american girls like we felt it like it was like yeah she's she's done she's done with this place she went outside she was yeah they couldn't control her they couldn't control her they didn't, they didn't know what the fuck to do sorry excuse my language they had no clue they never, they never thought that a British girl was going to act like that in their life. And I could tell. They were running around like headless chickens. Like, what do we do? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It was the most craziest thing. They pushed us into a room. We, I was like, can I speak to her? Can I at least speak to her? Maybe I could, like, calm her down. Like, no, no. It was just... It was horrible. I knew she weren't coming back after that. It was, it was exactly what you guys saw. It was exactly what you guys saw, but worse. Like, imagine you can hear all the sound effects, like everything. That's <laughs> even, Get off me! Get off me! Like, you can hear everything. Like, you know, dickhead. Like, all the, you can hear it. <laughs> like, he's like, oh, wow. Can I be honest with y'all? Can I yeah. please just be? I love to see people angry. And there's nothing like a black woman going off. Yeah. But I thoroughly enjoy to see my other sisters yeah, go trust. off yeah i because i have a thing about people abusing authority authority too like bitch just because you whatever whatever mm -hmm. and whatever whatever you're not gonna speak to me crazy oh no the, there's only two people two sets of people i'm not cursing out on this planet that's my grandparents and my right. mother exactly. those are the only people that have a pass for me everybody else Man, woman, child, infant, aunt, cloud. Mm -hmm. If you step yes. to me wrong, I will vanquish you verbally. Absolutely. And I respected her in that moment so much. Like, so much. Like, she gave me so much confidence after that. She doesn't even know. Because you know why? I realized in that moment, these people are just people. They don't know what the hell to do right now. <laughs> Louise ah. is going mad. And you don't, don't know what to do. All control was like lost. Like, what do we do? Oh my God. Like, wow. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you the type of hoe I am. Hmm. At the point at which I would have decided to make a scene, I actually wouldn't have not left. I, yeah, actually, actually, I actually would have stepped closer to the judges panel same, so that she yeah. could hear me. Yeah, yeah. You mother... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I will say as well because like people have always asked me like what Kelly Patron is like. I didn't really have an issue with her, and she was never um, mean to me or horrible to me. And I think that's because deep down inside, she could see that I genuinely wanted to be there. Like at mm -hmm. the time, like she could see that like, she wants this. Like it's not a joke for her kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I deal with people like Kelly very well because I have family members just like her. So mm -hmm. you don't feed too much into the energy of, uh, like, a Kelly. Like, you, you, you just don't give them too much. Like You let it be. Mm -hmm. Next. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? You don't give them too much. But she, I think she enjoyed picking at Louise. But then when she saw her explode, she was like, oh, damn. Wrong one. Right. Louise so, is like, not the one. So what was the departure of louise from the show like like just like did you see oh, she anything she just disappeared she just disappeared like she just they didn't even give us a chance to say bye nothing she just disappeared and then when, and then when you spoke to her years later if you guys had any conversations about it and if you choose to share anything what was her like did she say what happened to her after that happened like just in relation to the show and the producers and stuff like that or was it well, just Louise? Didn't, we didn't we didn't see her years later what happened was when you get eliminated you go to a hotel so when i left i saw her at the hotel 
Oh, okay. And we so had you... a conversation. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, we had a conversation. She was cool. She 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 was happy, really happy, and I was so happy to see her happy and like it was. We just felt we all just felt so relieved. She was good, man. She's good now. She's a mum. She's happy. She got a man. She's real happy. Trust me. Alicia, do you have a man? <clears throat> you in my business? Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> what accent was that? Oliver, don't do me like that, please. Come Why? on. I tried. But I but it, it, girl, you know it's me. You know, you know it's you me. You know I tried though. Like, give me the benefit of the doubt. No, no, I'm asking because it was actually really good. Like, was I it? it? Yeah, it was really good. Oh my god. Okay, good. Uh, it was. Try, I was trying to be see. American, but like, I'm not sure what part. Okay, so when people hear me slip into like this real, you know, when we start seeing me do this and all that, that's yeah. like that's like a Florida Banji black girl accent. Oh, oh, so there's like accents with different type of people. Yes. So oh. like, okay, so let's okay, so let's let's look at it in the context of love and hip hop, right? Right. Do, do you watch I love and hip hop? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. So so when you hear. When you hear Trina cursing and going off, yes, what well, that, that Florida? That is that's that's what I'm that's what I that's what I come from and what I what I'm what I grew up used to hearing. That is a South Florida black black girl accent, dialect, word choice, everything. So basically, like when you curse people, you don't don't take a breath. Like you just everything's like rrr, rrr, yes rrr. yes like, yes wow now for the context of Instagram YouTube you won't hear this because YouTube would not take my video down but for the oh, context no. of yeah. Instagram I'll say pop pussy asshole goddamn motherfucker I don't give a damn what you talking about I don't give a damn what's up <laughs> I want to talk like that what that pop pussy asshole ass so I could go slap her down in her mouth no pussy asshole <laughs> <laughs> not the pussy oh, oh no no. <laughs> Let's get back into these questions. <laughs> Let's get back into these questions. But yes, there are different, just like any place, there are right. different accents, different dialects, word choices. Like, again, keeping with love and hip hop, the, the way the girls curse from like in New York City, yes. that's, that's, that's what those girls who come from there sound like. Do you know, the, the worst it gets in London is you're a dickhead, suck your mum. That's the worst it gets. Really? Yeah. Then you, oh, girl. You, you, mm -mm. you may get stabbed. Maybe. Oh, you know, girl. We can, yeah. um, it goes. Wow. It goes. I wish people could use, you know, their words like this more. Maybe, because, you know, it's interesting. I mean, I watched Trina cast that girl out. It was, I took notes. No, no. Took notes. That's. I'll, I'll get lost in it. I'll get lost in it. All right, y'all. <laughs> I'll get lost in it. Because I like stuff like that. <laughs> I, like, <laughs> I like stuff like that. All right, y'all. Here we go. So, okay. um, Jonathan Fletcher's other question was, what was the deal between Laura and Ebony? Before you answer that, I just want to say to Ebony, if she ever will watch this, if, she, if, she, if she's watching or whatever, whatever. Ebony, I am so proud of you. Mm -hmm. I am so proud that mm -hmm. you were able to do something on a very large scale, wide. Because let the show tell it, you <laughs> let the show tell it, you couldn't. Let the show tell it, you weren't able to. And I'm so freaking proud of you that you went on and you, you are still currently to this day. Doing, yeah. I remember when I visited New York City, I think I saw her three times and it was three mm -hmm. different, it was three different campaigns. She, so she, proud of her. Listen, like, no one understands and no one knows because obviously I don't think they had enough air in time to show it, but me and Ebony were very, 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 very close. Like, sometimes a bit too close. Like, people are like, are these two are inseparable? Like, they don't even know each other. Like, they're like she was like my little sis because we're the youngest mm -hmm. in the contest. So, and I kind of felt it for her. Like, every time she would do elimination, she would always kind of get picked on and stuff. And it was just annoying. Like, we were really, really close. Um, the issue between Laura and Ebony. Ebony was 18 years old. Mm -hmm. Like, if they, if you're going to say something to her, she's going to say something. Like, they they just used to bicker. And I think Ebony was just like, 
I'm over you, girl. Bye. Like, stop. Like, you just do too much. Like, that's all it was. I, I, one thing I want to say is that between me and the, between us and the American girls, I think one thing that production hated the most was that we all liked each other. Mm. No matter how much you saw us bicker and fight mm -hmm. and argue and hear, that's all it was. And then it was done. We'll be dancing mm. with each other. We'll be chilling with each other. We'll be having deep conversations with each other. We'll be like so like we'll be so cool with each other. So like I think production hated that and the things that you guys saw were like small, like minuscule things that we really didn't care about when the cameras were were not there. Do you understand? Right. But I, I see people in the comments asking me if like me and Ebony are close and da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. like even um Annalise. Like we were so she's saying that we were so close, like we were. Um, we're not close anymore. We don't talk. I think the last time I spoke to Ebony, she told me that she was coming to the UK and I offered my house to her. I said, when you come, you stay with me. Like, I got you. Don't worry about food. Don't worry about nothing. Like, I, I, I got you. And she came and she didn't, she didn't contact me. I actually flew to New York um, to, like, try and embark on my dream. And I called Ebony and... I was like, yeah, um, I'm in New York. Like, do you want to hang out? And she just, like, aired me. So I'm not going to lie. I do feel a little bit, like, I, I do feel some type of way. Because our relationship was just, like, I don't really get close to people like that, ever. Like, and I see her as, like, my sister. Like, so when your sister, like, kind of, like, dishes you like that, it makes you feel shit. Do you know what I mean? And I love her, like, Anywhere I go, I tell people, like, I know her, like, she's, like, you don't know this girl, like, she really wants this. She's not just doing this for her, like, as I said, we've had conversations that I, I don't want to talk about, but I'm so proud, like, I'm so proud it could, like, make me cry, because, you know, when you're t close with someone and you share things with mm -hmm. each other and stuff, and you understand, like, the struggle, you understand what they're going through, you get each other, it's like, we're kind of, like, twins, what were split at birth. And then when we came together, like, I say to people all the time, America said Tomola wasn't the best thing that happened in my life, but meeting Ebony and Louise and some of the other girls too was, like, I couldn't have asked God for, like, better people to do this journey mm, with. Beautiful. Do you know what I mean? And she's one of those people, and she always will be. Like, if we ever talk again, I will cuss her out. Like, I will cuss her out. But I'm going to give her a big hug and a big kiss at the same time. Like... You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I will cut her out. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> no doubt. So we were rooting for you. How? D I know it's coming. No, girl, that was someone's screen name. Uh, what? We were rooting for you. How dare you? <clears throat> I hate y'all. I'm, this is my last top model chat. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> you can't come back with these screen names. They're very... They are so funny. Lengthy. They are so funny. <laughs> but they're asking, some people say Tyra Banks isn't exactly the way she is in front of camera. Is this true? And I know you shared her story earlier. Um, have you ever seen any difference? Was she that bubbly with you girls? Have you ever seen her after the show? Has she ever sent you a letter or communication and ha yeah. Are you not okay? Let me tell you something. <sighs> Everyone has a role on the show. When this lady used to enter rooms, we would have to turn the other way. We wasn't allowed to look at her. What you mean turn the other way? Annalise, am I lying? If Annalise is still in the chat, and Liz, please, please verify. When what you mean turn the other filming, way? And we, we were not filming. We would have to turn the opposite way. Huh? Why? Huh? We don't have a relationship with, with Miss Lady. Part of my counseling sessions is not to say her name because I'm triggered. So we're going to call her Miss Lady. Ms. We don't Lady. have a relationship with Miss Lady. We don't have a relationship with her. I want all of you not to understand this. She doesn't write us letters. <laughs> the, bub the, 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 the bubbly persona and personality that you're seeing on the show is for the show. It's for you guys. It's not for us. 
Miss it's lady. not for us. Because when she leaves the room, we have to turn. We have to turn around. That like we didn't just speak to her just a second ago. They would have eliminated me. Because where I'm, cause I'm from the same places where Trina is from. The only difference between me and Trina is, you know, mm -hmm. I, you know, I had a little bit more, I, you know, whatever. I mm -hmm. chose to have a little bit more refinement to myself. Mm -hmm. Bitch, no. I, if that, as, as soon as that would have happened, Alicia, if I was there, as soon as that would have happened, y'all would have heard, bitch, no. Get me out. Mm -mm. Oh, mind you as well. Bitch, when no. Like, when we're in rooms and stuff, they, call, they have this thing that they put us on ice. Now, I'm going to be real with you guys. Um, when they put you on ice, we wasn't doing that in Britain's Next Top Model. So, like, for example, I got off the, the plane when I touched down in LA, and they were like, yeah, you're on ice. I said, excuse me? What is ice? Oh, you don't talk from this day forward. Like, you don't talk. What do you mean I don't talk? Do you know where I'm from? Like, you can't tell me not to talk. I was like, what's this ice thing? He's like, yeah, you, you fall on ice. Don't you know what ice is? No, I don't. And who is you to tell me not to talk? I don't know you. I just got off the plane. Just touched down in the G5. Exactly. And they told me to meet someone with a white shirt and a hat on. I don't know you. You could be taking me to my death and you're telling me that I'm on ice. <laughs> <laughs> Not the slaughter. Alicia, you are funny. Ice. Oh, I would have got eliminated. Please. All my modeling dreams would have been throttled. And, and melted because all those things it's there's certain there's certain i am of the firm belief that despite whatever socioeconomic whatever 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 it is in life everyone deserves respect and everyone deserves to be treated fairly and equal exactly. i don't give a and fuck on how many magazines you've been on i don't care i don't, I don't care. care either and that's the thing they know show me care. respect because i'm going to show you respect Girl, all those when I talk to y'all girls and I hear stories like this turnaround business and this ice stuff, I was like, "Oh, girl, I would have been done. Mm -hmm. I, I would have been done." What are you saying? I'm not doing. I'm not doing been, no ice, mm -hmm. going on no ice, and then you're telling me that I can't confront somebody that I, I'm upset with because I have to wait until a camera's present. So before the camera comes, I need to be on ice. No, I'm telling this heifer what I need to tell her right now. I'm not waiting. <laughs> what are you waiting for? So you're telling me I must contain my feelings until a camera is present and we are all mic'd for me to tell this girl, why are you doing this? No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So I used to get in trouble all the time. All the time. Like, Alicia, shh, stop talking. Don't tell me not to stop talking. I'm 19. Don't tell me that. Like, no. I, don't I do love that. how you just said that just now. I'm 19. I love yeah. that. <laughs> that is so beautiful to me. Like, no, go away. Stop telling me it's gone ice, silly people. So listen, so besides the story you shared with us, girl, you see you see I'm in my bed today, right? Oh yeah. So I'm not I'm not so in my I couldn't get the velvet sofa, nothing. What'd you say? I couldn't get the velvet sofa. I see what well, I see. Okay. Alicia, don't stress me out. Okay. <laughs> don't stress I'm me out. I'm giving you backdrop. I'm giving you Claire. I'm giving you looks, and you and you giving me bed. Tear me up, girl. Tear me up. <laughs> I'm Tear me up. Fine. Oh no, girl. I love. Like I said, I love stuff like this. I love. I love it. Tear me up. You know. <laughs> you know. On chasing Atlanta, I think why yeah. the girls hate me so much is because I just like to have fun, like joking and cracking yes. and like joning in, in in America. Girl, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm. I'm sorry. <laughs> My window was right here, and I just saw this <laughs> white cat just jump and land out of nowhere. Your and I'm face. like, girl, how did this cat just do this? Like, girl, where did she just come from? <laughs> I'm sorry, it just caught me off so off guard. I wish I could flip it around and show y'all this cat. Oh this cat God. literally just fell out of the sky like a raindrop. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Okay. I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah, I like that. We call that, like, banter in, in the UK. Like, when you can go back and forth with someone, mm -hmm. but it's innocent, like, we just joking, we just flowing, it's normal. Like, you know, everything has to be shade. Do you know what I mean? Yes, like, everything it's just has fun. to be shade. But hi oh Amanda, Amanda Swafford is in the room. Okay. Um, friend, let me take a quick break. Everyone's asking me about the Amanda Swafford video really quick. Me and Amanda talked for over three hours and it was filled. Girl, me and Amanda was drinking, it was hookah, 
it was crabs oh, and wow. fruit. Girl, it was girl, but no, it was just but it just made it just made the thing so chaotic. So I'm I'm going through cleaning it up a little bit so people can watch it easy because you know people may not want to you know see all that type of stuff. So that's why the Amanda interview has not been posted because I just <laughs> I just have to clean oh, yeah, it up a little bit. Oh yeah, because I can see people asking you for it. Like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Terrorizing me. Even under my post, where is it? I'm like terrorizing me. Wow. Terrorizing. It's coming. Me. It's it's coming today. Trust. Oh, okay. Well, because I don't want the terror. Okay, you and guys trust yours. Is, yours is going to come today too, because I do not want the terror. They terrorize oh. me, they, and it's so funny because I'll they, they'll be like, "I love you, Oliver. I love you, Oliver." And then, it, uh, bitch, so where is it? Hurry up, Oliver. So here it goes. Here it goes. So hurry, hurry up. up. Mm -hmm, hurry up. All right. So, were there any other moments um that you care to share that you had with Tyra that may have spoken to like, girl, why is she acting like this, or what's going on right now? The only bit that breaks my heart and makes me feel like she's not humane was when I decided to leave the part of the show and I said, I really want Ebony to stay. And she said, no, both of you can go. That still breaks my heart to this day. Like, like that hurts a lot because I, like, I really want Ebony to stay. Like, I really feel like she could have had the potential to, like, go really, really far in the contest so it's like remember we've got a very close relationship so she's like my sister like if i don't win she needs to win like mm -hmm. sort of thing so i think that's one thing that and, and and of course like on my departure which i'm sure you're gonna ask me about um i sat on the stage just crying one producer came to see if i was okay one I, like, I, I was gone. Like, you know when you cry and you cry so much that snot is coming out your mouth, your, your, your nose? Like, it's like you're just so depleted. One producer came to see if I was okay. One. And I remember watching, I thought, I thought Miss Thing was going to come and say something to me. And she walked behind me and passed me. And I just never, I just never forget. It. Yeah. That was, that was a lot. Can you imagine, again, I mean, I'm saying this because I want people to understand. That 12-year-old girl that wrote in her diary, one day I'm going to meet this woman. She's so beautiful. I cannot wait to see her, to see, to, to have her see you crying. Because you, you just feel like this, like, this is too much. Like, at this point, I feel like you lot are tearing down my character. Like, you're turning me into something that I'm I'm not this person. Like, do you understand? And to see her, like, walk past you. Like, you ain't shit. Like, so? That hurt. Like, that 12-year-old child in me, like, still probably is a little bit triggered by it. Luckily, I'm, like, I'm getting the therapy that I need and stuff like that. But that, that was hard. That was hard. Are you are you still getting therapy about that? Yeah. To this day. To this day. I don't really like talking about like American Sex Tom Model. And I, I really want to apologize to um some of the girls as well because like Annalise and maybe a few others that have reached out to me and maybe I've been a little bit distant because any one part of that process for me is quite triggering. Not necessarily in a negative way but sometimes in a very emotional way for me because it reminds me of the good times, but it also reminds me of the very difficult times that I had, especially when I went home and I returned a different person. My mom did not recognize me. My mom sent me out of that house one person and I returned back a different person. I wasn't speaking to anyone. I wasn't socializing. My real friends that I had, I lost some of my real friends. Because I just was like, I didn't trust anyone. I just thought like, how can you love someone so much? And I'm talking about Miss Thing. Adore someone so much like, and they do that to you, how? Like you, you make her like you care for us. You show the world like these are my babies. Like, yeah, I'm your mentor. Like, I want people to understand that as well because yes, I do believe a lot of the girls go on the, the shows for fame. 
and for fortune. But I was not one of those girls. I wanted to meet my idol and to model. That's what I want. That's all I wanted. I didn't want anything else. And, and just a simple, are you okay, Alicia, would have been enough for me. I didn't even enough. get that. And I still haven't got that. Do you do you want it? No. Because you know what I don't. Because uh, I'm no psychologist. I'm just a nosy bitch that you know be asking the people the questions. But girl, you don't even need it, especially 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 from. I don't need it, and I I I sleep well at night because. To some extent, I have forgiven. Mm -hmm. If she sleeps well at night, I'd be surprised. Because I know that there's many girls that have been maybe hurt by her and her production team. And, you know, maybe they'll never bounce back from the things that they... There's a lot of, like, there's a lot of girls in this competition that are functioning based off trauma that you would never know so for example like i can go about my day-to-day -day life and i can i can laugh and i can joke and i can i can be normal but deep down inside like there's bits of me from that show that still trigger me or make me feel uncomfortable if that makes any sense um and there's a lot of people that pretend that they're happy and they're not. And I'm not one of those people. Like, I wear my heart on my sleeve. Like, if there's something wrong, like, you know, like, people see you and they think, oh, she's so pretty, she's so this, she's so that. I'm not perfect. I have feelings. I have feelings. Like, I could have been someone's NBA player girlfriend. I could have been on Love and Hip Hop. I could have been doing all those things. Don't you think? I could have. But I'm so traumatized by this whole experience that it stopped me from even going into different opportunities because it's something that I need to heal completely before I go there, if that makes sense. No, it does I don't make... need a sorry. I don't need a... Do you know what I do need? Let me tell you what I need. I need a check <laughs> for my pain and suffering. You I need a check for my pain and suffering. That's what I need. So she only needs to check for me when she has a check for me. Boom. I want to, because uh, I know we kind of we kind of got up in the. Sorry, you know, guys. No, no, sorry, no, no. Sorry. Trust me, you are fine. You are doing an amazing job, and everyone down in the comments, um, they're sending you so much love right now. Like, I'm sorry, I, I haven't even been reading the comments or anything like that. But thank you guys so, so much for the. No, support. you're good. No, you're great. Yeah. They're sending they're sending you so much love and comments right now, and I'm I, and I'll tell you. Thank you so much for, you know, being vulnerable and, sh and sharing this type of story um, with us. Because I know for a lot of people, it wouldn't be easy. And the fact you're yeah. doing that, um, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. I, I, I want to ask, what was happening during your time in Top Model leading up to your departure okay. that caused you to go through that decline? What brought you to that place? That is such a good question. And thank you so much for asking, because a lot of people don't know. So... For my makeover, I had a shave side and a weave a weave on the mm -hmm. other on the other side. Mm -hmm. Before they did my hair, they actually bleached my tried to bleach my hair blonde. Um, then they decided they didn't want to do that anymore. Then they bleached it back black. Then you go and cane row bleached hair. Yes. Row bleached hair, and then you sew weave to it, right? So when we got to um, China, did we go China or Hong Kong? I don't remember. But one of them, yeah. Um, my hair was falling out at the back. My hair was falling out. And I was I kept asking them, like, something needs to be done. Something needs to be done. My hair's falling out. Like, I don't feel comfortable. Like, can someone do something? No reply. We had been in Hong Kong for about maybe, like, three or two weeks. I had never called my mum once. They know my mom is a very triggering point for me. I need to speak to my mom. Like, I need... I, I call my mom every single day. 
I talk to my mum every single day. Like, I need to talk to my mum. So every day I was asking, can I, can I make a phone call? 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 They wouldn't let me make a phone call. Like, I just didn't understand it. And I just felt like every week you're picking shit pictures of me. You're telling me that I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. You're critiquing me on shoes that didn't fit my feet and then asking me why my feet are hanging out at the front and I'm a size seven and you're giving me a size five. How are you asking me? Ask the stylist. You knew what size all the girls were when they came. That's one of the first things that you asked her. So you're critiquing me on why my foot sliding at the front and all of this stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, like, this is too much. Like, and it got to the point where, in my mind, someone who is performing at this level in this competition, you're saying that I'm not, you know, I'm not giving it my all and my pictures are just mediocre. Wouldn't they gone by now? Wouldn't they have gone? Why are you not keeping me here to 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 pick away at me? Why? Like I just didn't understand it, and I was over it. And I remember I was in the bathroom with Ebony. I had a shower, and I was crying in the shower. Ebony's like, "When you get out of the shower, come and talk to me." I came and shot, and I said, "I'm ready. I'm not doing this no more, Ebony. I don't want it that bad. I feel like I'm. I like. I feel like I'm." deteriorating inside like I can't cope I feel like they're picking at my character I'm really trying my best and she's like I know I know I don't like, I'm really breaking my back on these photo shoots like when they say legs I'm pulling my leg out the socket to give you leg like I'm doing I'm doing what I need to do I don't know what more you want me what do you want my blood my liver my kidney I don't know like I'm doing everything I was so frustrated like people just don't get it and like at this time I feel like now obviously after talking to professionals and they watching the show as well because my focus was like watch the show and looked at my character and looked at signs of when like my behavior started to fall and stuff like that i was depressed i was depressed do you mean to tell me no one in on the cameras could see like this girl like she just i would walk around the front room just in a circle just round and around and around because i was just like so out of it and I said to Ebony, they need to let me go. So somebody call a production right now because I'm ready. This was the day that we had elimination. They called a production to me and um, one lady, I don't remember her name. And I said, listen, I'm ready to go. So here what we're going to do. <laughs> yeah, like I was over it. Like I was, at this point, I was over it. This you was over This is what we're going to do. Sorry, that was funny. When you see when they have all the girls on the, like the picture and like they, they elim like the girl disappears. I said, that's what we're going to do. Just let me disappear. I don't want to be, I don't want to go downstairs and do the whole, like, you've been, a, you've been evicted and all this. I don't want to do that. Just let me disappear. I just don't want, I don't want to go downstairs. I don't want to, just let me disappear. No, no, no. You still have to go downstairs. You still need to go downstairs. You still need to go downstairs. Why? I don't want to go downstairs. I don't, I don't want to do it. No, Alicia, you still need to go downstairs. You still need to go downstairs. All right, cool. Got dressed went downstairs in my mind i'm like when if i get saved no and then sorry and then i asked okay cool can you just eliminate me then that's what i, asked. I said so can you just eliminate me so make sure that when she gives the pictures it's not my picture i don't want to be saved at least you still have to go downstairs cool went downstairs i said to ebony you know you know, I kind of departed from Ebony because I felt like I had to, like, you know, give her the little, the little speech. I said, no matter what happens, you're going to be fine, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going. Regardless of what happens today, Bitch, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. Yeah? I'm gone. So you're not going to see me after today. So be strong, blah, blah, blah. Gave her a hug, gave her a kiss. We went downstairs. And they saved me. When I told you from upstairs that I want to go home, and to eliminate me. Or to eliminate me. And you know what was so weird? Like, I felt like, I don't know if the other girls felt it, but I felt like that elimination was so eerie because they knew that I was, like, sort of deteriorating upstairs. So when I came downstairs, I felt like the whole production team was, like, just staring at me. Like, I wonder if she's really serious about leaving. I was very, very serious. I wanted to go. I was ready. 
I was done. That is. Sh I'm I'm gagged right now because it's like, and I don't want to talk in an in an accusatory way because, you know, I wasn't there and yeah. you know I don't you know I don't want to you know, I'm here I, I'm here with you right now but right, right, just cool. you know I don't want to talk in an accusatory way but it's like how, how can you rationalize someone letting you know that I'm not well right now. Yeah, I'm just well. as a human being, just as a, just as a human being, not even take take it outside of this is a show and these are contestants and I'm a, and whoever you are on a human being type way. Yeah, cool. Someone is telling you, "Hey, I am not well and mm -hmm. I now want to leave." Knowing this and you still with the camera rolling, put her in the bottom two and then save her? Why? When she has told you guys she wants to go? I told you I want to go. I said it. I told the other girls, I'm ready, guys. Like, I'm ready to go. Like, I'm ready to... I don't want to be here. I don't feel well. Like, like, not feel well as in, I've got a belly ache, got a headache. I mentally do not feel like myself. That outer of body experience is weird. Cause you're there, but you're not there. You're like over there. Like it's just the weirdest feeling. And I'm like, I'm not about to deteriorate on TV. I'm not about to do that. They're not about to make no more coins off me. And no, my so, mom me better than that. And so when you're, and so of course watching the show, we all know Tyra says, you know, you, you know, you're moving on, Ebony's eliminated, and then you begin to cry and break down. Of course, all that is edited and, you know, shortened just so, you know, for time constraints. Right. But if you can, walk us through, like, what, what, that ex what that experience was like, you saying no, and then you mm -hmm. trying to get them to get Ebony to stay. Okay, so when she called us both up, um, I, before walking up, I kind of, like, I made eye contact with Ebony, like, don't worry about nothing. Like, you know, my eyes were saying, like, don't worry, like, I'm going home. Yeah, I need you to believe that I'm going home. So you're staying, so don't worry about it. When we got up and she, like, had my picture, I looked her dead in the eye. Like, I, I, I will never forget this as long as I live. I looked her dead in the eye and I said, I don't want that. I don't want to be here. And I remember her expression was so flat. Like, like no, like, like, what, why? Like, like, I said, I don't feel like myself. She's like, you don't feel like yourself? Like, Girl, do I look like myself? Do I? Be honest. Be honest. Like the girl that you saw at the beginning of the show does not look like the same girl. Like, come on, let's be real. When you're stressed, it shows on your face. I'm crying in front of you. What do you mean? Like, come on. So obviously I looked at Ebony and I said, I would like Ebony to stay. And she said, no, nah, you both can go. And I remember, like, I just looked at Ebony. I was so shocked. Like, it made me cry more. Because I wasn't just crying for myself at this point. I'm crying for my, my like, baby sis right now. Like, she don't get to stay, huh? And I kind of felt in that moment, and I know it might sound stupid, but I felt like I let both of us down. Because if it wasn't going to be me, it had to be her. Do you understand what I'm saying? And now that we're both going home, now it's not either of us, like... I just felt so shit, like, in that, I felt so shit on so many levels, like. And so, Alicia, just for clarification, because when, mm -hmm. I, when I was watching it, I thought maybe when Tyra said, you know, both of you have to go, I thought maybe, here's what I thought. I thought right. maybe, you know, production probably told her in, a, in, 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 like, a cutaway or, like, in a pause, a little break, hey, you know, Ebony can't stay, she also has to leave, too. But are you saying that in conversation while you guys are having this dialogue and you're asking her for Ebony to stay, mm -hmm. she responds, Ebony that cannot was her stay. Response. There was no dialogue. There was mm -hmm. no dialogue. Annalise was there, she can verify. There was no dialogue. She said it immediately after, like it was planned or something. And that's what it was for me as well. And that's when I knew I was making the right decision because it, that she didn't think about it. There was no thought. There was no like, oh, actually, maybe Ebony could say. Like, it, it was like, okay, well, she can go. I felt that in my heart for her because it's like, 
you act like you care about us. You know nothing about this girl and her struggles and why she's doing this. You have no idea. Like, you broke two girls' dreams at that point. What was the experience like after you left in terms of like you and production and the all of that? Like, right. What was that like? Only one producer came and said, asked me if I was okay. Then after me and Ebony go up to a hotel, the same hotel that all the other girls were eliminated at, and we cry for about 10 hours straight. And I immediately felt better. I was like happy, I felt relieved. Like I just was like, oh God, great. But Ebony was sad. Ebony was sad. And, 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 and um, that hurts. We slept for like nine hours straight for like three days. We were exhausted, absolutely exhausted. We didn't even really eat. We didn't do much. We spoke, like at night we would speak to each other and then, like I would apologize to her because I didn't want her to like feel like I robbed her of something or like anything like that. I just didn't want her to feel that way. And I always told her, you're gonna be good. Like, trust me, you're gonna be good. Mm-hmm. Like AGZ is gonna see you. Like you're gonna be good, and she is. So I'm relieved for that. But yeah, we 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 spent probably like two weeks or maybe I don't know how long they were filming after us for, but maybe like a week and a half together. So we grew much 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 closer. Um, we were able to like to mingle with the other girls as well. We were good. We were okay. But then after I received a call from Miss J, and he was fuming. He was so upset. Miss J called you. Yes, he called. Yeah, he called. He's the only one that called. He called you like why you were still there, or is this after? In the hotel, yeah. So after, yeah, he called. What did he say? He said, "Why didn't no one tell me that you felt this way? Why didn't no one call me? How do you feel? Are you okay? Do you feel stable? Like, are you? Do you need assistance? Do you need help? Should we call anyone? What's been going on?" What the hell has happened? Oh my goodness. He's the only, and you know what? Like, Miss J, like, I love and respect that man. Nobody can chat shit about Miss J to me. No one. No one. He was fuming. He said some other things too. About someone. Girl, what are you saying? He went impressed. And if you notice, Miss J wasn't really on our show that much. I think that's when uh, relationships in the in the judges team started to deteriorate a little bit. So you know, we we kind of could sense that like some judges didn't like other judges, and the host didn't like that person that much anymore. And oh, I'm not really messing with him anymore. Like, yeah. Well, in Jay's chat, he does in out. It's 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 a question that I'm going to get to, but it's come up now in Jay's chat. He says that during that time tension behind the scenes with production and cast and you know host and different members of the show it was very very tense were there things that you witnessed as a contestant no but when i had that conversation with him i knew how tense they were it made sense oh yeah oh yes and i do i do feel like there was like a personal whether it's true or not this is not something he said to me but like when when we were talking you understand people's characters and 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 their characteristics and because you are you interact with these people you realize it can't be a lie like you have to just be like this for everyone to be saying the same thing so when i you know like before earlier on in the conversation i said to you like i felt like they saw someone else in me and I was used for like like maybe made her feel better like picking me apart because she said that that's what the person did to her so maybe it made her feel better doing it to me you know the bully the person that is bullied always becomes the bully at the end of the day this is true you know, and you've got these vulnerable, you know, overambitious, exciting young girls, and you're selling them a dream. Damn. You know? 
any 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 conversations with anyone um from the show production tyra went w once he left yes so if you guys can remember we had a fashion runway show at the beverly hills hotel and i won a um a night to go to stay at the beverly hills hotel in la so there's a bit of scandal with this and we're going to get into it me and my mum decided that we wanted to go to Beverly Hills Hotel in LA because they offered us UK and somewhere else. And we was like, why are we going to go and stay at the Dorchester in the UK? We see that like every day. We're going to fly to LA. So me and my mum, we fly to LA. And when we get to the reception, remember, this is the Be Beverly Hills Hotel. I just want everyone to remember this. The Beverly Hills Hotel. You cannot be broke and go to this hotel. That's on period. Yeah? cool so we go to the desk they were super excited to see me they're like oh my god alicia it's a pleasure to have you here they're treating me like royalty like a queen even my mom i was so excited they goes yeah we've got you booked for two days but the third day is not booked it's not paid for excuse me i said uh how much is it because um our flight our stay is for four days you're telling me that the third night is not paid for which is what I was offered as the prize. She goes, she told me the price, she tells me the price. I believe it was like 600 and something because we had it like a suite. I immediately look at my mum and I'm thinking, oh my God. Then the girl from production is like calling production like, yeah, one of the nights is not paid for. Anyway, they refused to pay for it. Long story short, they didn't want to pay for it. They didn't want to pay for it. Anyway, so we're standing at the reception. I'm close to tears because i'm like i've blown my mom out here we're staying in the beverly hills hotel like i cannot afford this shit. i ain't got no money what am i gonna do now my mom's excited like what am i gonna do the woman just saw the fear in my face and she said don't worry about miss white we're gonna pay for it we're gonna cover it don't worry enjoy yourself don't worry. And I was still, she could see, like, I was anxious. Like, I didn't know what to do. She's like, go to the room, have a shower. We're going to take care of it. Don't The woman worry. at the front desk. Yeah. She's like, don't you worry. We got you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Now, imagine if they didn't do that. Anyway, so me and my mom decided to go to the mall. God works in mysterious ways, and I want everyone to remember this. Yeah, and I want everyone to listen to what I'm saying because I I think other interviews that maybe you guys have heard me speak, people have like they they've missed something. So I'm gonna you're hearing it from the horse's mouth properly. You can see me. Yeah, me and my mom go to the mall, and we see a producer from America's Next Top Model, and she comes up to me, and she says, "Oh my God, hey Alicia!" And me and my I'm looking at my mom. Don't know who this woman is. Yeah, but I'm looking at her like. How ironic that I will come to LA. Right. And I'll see yeah. someone from production. Not planned. Don't have my number. Don't have, like, how could this happen? She goes, you know, like, when you left, it was really sad for us. Like, production, like, some people in production were crying. Like, they were really upset that you left. Like, everyone just wanted to make sure you were good. Like, blah, blah, blah. thinking in my head, only one person came up to me. Like, and I'm not going to lie, she did look like she was kind of, like, tearful. So, I'm, I, I, yeah, to some degree, she was being truthful, right? Mm -hmm. She goes, you know, we, we still don't understand why you left, because, like, we kind of set you up to win. Excuse me? Excuse me? I look at my mum, I'm like, excuse me, how? When every week you annihilate me, you pick the shittest pictures of me to the point where I'm questioning my own ability to be a model. I used to, you know, when they used to take pictures of us, I used to run behind the monitor just to look at all my pictures, just to make sure I'm not going mad. Like I'm not just standing there like a little block of cheese. Like I see, I'm seeing pictures like that's good. Yeah, that one's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to pick that one. And then when elimination comes, can you imagine the shock horror when your picture comes up on the screen and it's some, any, anything. It looks like a test, test shot. That's what she said to me. And I have no reason to lie. I would take a lie detector tomorrow. She said, we were setting you up to win. I said, how? How? The, how does that make sense? Whether she's being truthful or she's lying, 
I can only tell you guys what she told me. And That's all I can do. I don't it, know if she, she was just saying that to like make me feel some type of way or gotcha. like, maybe she maybe maybe she thought I was gonna like reveal like all the bad shit they that I felt like was going on. Because I think like in a case like mine, I could I probably could have took them to like judge Judy or something for pain and <laughs> suffering. Or something like that. Like maybe maybe she was throwing that in there to like lighten the right. glow, like Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, innit? And and to this day, me and my mum are really confused about that whole conversation and how ironic it was just to see the woman there. Like, it's, it's just like, it's weird. So, because there were a lot of questions about this theory that you were a pre-select to win. Yeah. Um, in every cycle, you know, the fans, we theorize on who's, right. you know, who's a pre-select based off the politics of the prizes and things like that. So someone from production told you out of their mouth that you out of were... Out their mouth, on my dead grandma's grave. I don't have to lie about this shit. I really don't. My mom is my witness. If I was there alone, then, okay, cool. My mom was there. My mom does not know this lady. She don't, she don't know the lady. She don't know, she don't know what's going on. She don't on. know these people. She don't know them. I don't even know the lady's first name because we, when, we, when we're on set, we don't know... Um, we do not know uh, productions' names, like, name by name. We don't really know them like that. Like, we don't call for them. They're not our go-to people. We have runners for that. You know what I mean? So, we don't know them. So, d did you ask this person, like, how are y'all setting me up? And every week, I'm getting bad yeah. pictures. And, and, and she, I think her reply was, and don't quote me because I don't fully remember, but she said something along the lines of, that's not for you to worry about. Oh, oh Jesus. Oof. It's not, that's like, why are you asking me that? Like, at the end of the day, it's their show. They do what they want to do. And they do I'm, what they want to do. I'm assuming it's safe to, it's safe to assume you haven't spoken to Tara since you left that day. Absolutely not. And I said to you, the only time she can call me is when she has a check for me. That's it. Don't check for me otherwise. You don't really like us. Be real. And so and just to give this, this, the, this section of the conversation a little bit of closure, you go home and you told us, you know, the experience really had a traumatic effect on your life. What was the road to recovery and therapy like for you? And what what were you able to realize about that? Like, I, I know you said, like, you were depressed during that time. What were you yeah. able to realize and take away from that that makes you who you are today? Cause, because, Alicia, like, I'll tell you, when you answered the phone the other day, I was just like, oh, my gosh, she is beautiful. She has this light. She's smiling. And even talking to you today before we got into this section, I'm like, girl, like, you're, like, it's, you're beautiful. Thank you. And, like, I can tell the work has been done and mm -hmm. it's 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 showing evident and just the light and the energy that you're radiating. What was that like for you and what did you learn about yourself in, in, in that situation? I'm going to be honest with you, like, if there's one thing Miss Thing gave me, she rebirthed a whole different human being. My mom gave birth to me, but Miss Thing rebirthed me. And the reason why I will say that, and I have to give her credit for that. When I came back home, I was absolutely in tatters. Like, anyone who knows me knows I'm the life of soul of the party. I'm the first one to dance. I'm the first one on the dance floor. I'm the first one to, like, make funny videos. I'm the first to do everything. That person was gone. I was quiet. I had uh, problems with um, like talking and I still do now, like constructing my sentences together and stuff like that because in that environment, you're not used to sharing your opinion and, and you're, you're often spoken down to and you're not allowed to express yourself. So my voice was lost. And anyone who knows anything about chakras, my throat chakra was blocked. I wasn't able to like communicate and speak properly. Um, and, and still to this day, I find that sometimes I find it quite difficult, especially with subjects like this. Um, I told my mom I needed help. My mom and my dad came together and they were like, yeah, like she needs, she needs support. I had my counseling. Um, I also do CBT because I, I suffered from um, anxiety and panic attacks. 
which was um, my panic attacks were so bad that it felt like sometimes I, w I couldn't breathe or I felt like I was going to like have a heart attack or something along these lines. Um, and I got my therapy for it. And I just, you know, like my therapist, he just gives me an opportunity just to express myself like properly, like all my emotions, how I feel in that time. And one thing I will say, I don't hate Tyra. I don't hate her at all. I have no, like, I don't think of her. She's not in my world. Like, I, I, I don't, sometimes in my mind, she doesn't even exist. Like, do you know what I mean? Because I feel like when people hurt you, instead of lashing out and like doing the absolute most, because I could be like the angry black girl, like online just chatting shit, like, you know, making YouTube videos, say, oh, she did this to me. Da, 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 da. I don't need to do that. Like I, I keep my I keep my mouth closed because my energy is loud. I know that if she ever saw me, she wouldn't be able to look at me. Because what they was expecting was a black girl in tatters. And when you look at me, I promised myself I was gonna get to this stage. No matter what happens, whether I get closure, I don't get closure, I'm gonna come back stronger, better, I'm gonna look better, I'm gonna get myself in the gym, I'm gonna do what I need to do for me no matter what. She's a businesswoman. She had an agenda. She executed her agenda. She made her claims with all of us. And she said, thank you for your services. And I'm okay with that. But I'm a firm believer of you leave people better than you found them. And the way she left me, I could have taken my own life. What would you like? I don't understand. Like, I just, I just find it like I'm, I'm very humane. I love people. Me too. I love people. Like, I'm, I'm very like closed off. But I, like, once I get that, once, once we connect, and we are, we're connected for life. Like, I'm always check on you. I'm always make sure you're good. Like, I'm always make sure you, you good. Like, no matter what. And I just, I just, I, I, I just don't understand why she doesn't do that. Not just for me, because it's not about me. Like, what about all the other girls? Hey, hey, okay. One thing I want to say, like, guys, please just deep it for a second. You made this franchise. You call yourself a mentor, yeah? You get, you get these girls and you put them under your wing. You put them on a, on a show. These are normal girls. These are not girls that were famous before. These are normal human beings. You put them in life, um, uh, fame and fortune. You give them things. They're meeting celebrities, blah, blah, blah. You expect that person to go back in the real world and just be normal. People know us now. I couldn't get a job. Because people knew who I was. I couldn't even get a normal job. They're asking me, what am I doing here? What are you doing here? Like... You, you like a celebrity, what are you here for? Like, no, like, go and do something else. I had people invite me in for interviews to talk about the show. And they're not offering me the job. That's how serious it was. And she, I, I think she or the production team don't understand that aftercare with these shows is so important because I was a normal person. And after that show, I wasn't a normal person. And not only that, now I'm depressed. Now I've got anxiety. Now I've got panic. Now I've got this. Now I've got that. Aftercare is so important. Mm -hmm. Like, how can you sleep well at night knowing that you're mentoring these girls and we can count how many are successful? We can count how many are actually eating who can clothe themselves. We can count them. Are you not embarrassed? That is very embarrassing. All jokes okay. aside, like, I know I make it sound funny. Mm-hmm. But you guys... No, what, what you said is, is the same thing I've always said, which is why, after a while, as a fan of the show, I was like, they need to cut this shit off because it's like, girl, every 
at every year y'all coming on the air and y'all saying we finna make America's Next Top Model and I don't see nobody on top. Like, come on, everyone's at the bottom. Like, how? Like, I don't get it. Like, there's been girls on the show, like, for example, some of my favorite, my favorite girl on, on um, America's Next Top Model period is Tiffany. She, me and her, like, we have the same sort of, like, characteristics. We're both, like, from the hood and stuff like that. So I related to her. That woman is beautiful. Listen. Uh, Tiffany did a BuzzFeed. I think it was BuzzFeed. I think it's BuzzFeed. But 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 some um, publication did, like, a feature on her. Um, like, recent, like, I would say within the last five years, I think. Yeah. Tiffany was gorgeous. Cool. Just yeah, and she, she was gorgeous really, back then. She is so to me, like she honestly, other than my mother, she's like the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. Like she is so pretty. Like when she went on there, I thought, oh, okay, I'm gonna see her in this, I'm gonna see her in that, I'm gonna see her in this. Tell me don't call any of us to see if we're still alive. Did any of them hang themselves yet? Because it's possible. It could have happened. It could have happened. It's sad. It's sad. And I'm not, I'm not upset with her. I'm just so disappointed. But, you know, I think there are, there's a lot of discussions going on, like in just other, other realms of the internet and stuff like that, with people Absolutely. critiquing, people critiquing the, the industry of reality TV and the whole process and what it does to a lot of, what it does to a lot of people. And, um, I'm no, I'm, like I said, I'm, not, I'm no psychologist. I'm no preacher. I'm just a nosy bitch. But just hearing you speak and hearing that you are a woman of faith, I do believe that God sometimes uses us as a vessel to be a light to other people Absolutely. and 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 to um, help other people out on their own journeys. And mm -hmm. maybe there's a girl out there that's watching you, that's that's look up to you, and will hear this, and it's like, I don't need to, I don't need to seek justification from mm -hmm. someone. I don't need to place myself in that type of realm um, and potentially be placed under those conditions and, right. and, 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 and have that. Like, Alicia, I'm not sure, like, like, I'm not sure what the man above has for you, but mm. just seeing what you went through, hearing now even more about you, what you went through, but I'm still looking at a beautiful gorgeous woman who's radiating so much light warmth and love i strongly believe that your life and your story means a lot and will mean a lot to so many different people and i'm not sure what it is that you want to yeah. do in this world friend but i just just keep doing it like even just sitting here talking to you there's a I lot of things you, there's a lot of things that you know the things i have going on that i'm i'm keeping in the back of my brain um always just always remember like one thing i always remember is that god loves me and he definitely favors me because mm -hmm. 38 reality tv stars took their lives 38 I think an America's Next Top Model girl actually took her life. And mm -hmm. it could have stemmed off other things as well, because we're not going to just place it on the show. Right. We're not just going to mm -hmm. place it on Miss Thing. Like, we're not going to do that. But, I mean, we really have to take this seriously, because it's all good. It's all fun and games, you know, throwing shade and, you know, like, kick -ki keying and, like, you know, making people feel bad. But I would honestly, like, if I ever had to speak to her again, if God ever forced me into that situation, I'll just I'll just say to her like, "Do you know what you do? You know what you did? Do you understand the impact that you have on people? Mm -hmm. Because girls love you, like girls love you, and you you. It's not just my heart you broke. Like there's there's many other girls as well that maybe are playing tough and they're, they're not as vulnerable as me. They might not share how they feel or whatever. But like, I'm sure she I'm I'm sure she has a kid or like something along these lines. Would you want your kid to be treated the way how you treated some of us? Right. That's all. Right. Like, that's it. Mm hmm. Um, are you still good to answer some more questions? Absolutely. Okay, because girl, to be quite honest, um, 
We'll we need talk. to end on a high. Yeah, I'm about to say, we'll says, talk. We'll talk. Yeah. We'll talk. Yeah. Um, all okay. right. So, I will say this before I go, because the, the the me and me can't let me do it. Um, I strongly believe that every, one day we all have to pay for whatever we did. It may not come now. Yeah. But it will it will come. And that's why I smile, Oliver. It that's will come. Um, it will come. And again, like I said, I wasn't there, so I'm not speaking from a place of knowing, but I I, I, I I am speaking from a place of everything good and bad that we put out in this world yeah. has we have to reap it. We have exactly. to. And guys, let's just be kind to the people. Like, just in mm -hmm. general, it's nothing to smile, nice. say, how are you okay? Like, you good? Yeah, we can ban or we can share each other on a friendly tip, but let's just be nice. Like, mm -hmm. do you, I feel like, sorry, Olive, I know you want to ask Oh, me, no, you're fine. This is the last point, right? I feel like she would have had a better show if the statistics were different in terms of, like, if the girls knew they were guaranteed a career and a life, like an actual real, like I can live, I can help my mom, I can help my friends, I can, like, I can make something. She would have had a way better show. Way better show. I never understood why Tyra or whoever never came up with their own modeling company or modeling agency and hired girls that they thought, you mm -hmm. know, maybe she didn't win. Yeah, yeah. Maybe she didn't win, but we can still we can still put this bitch to work, you know. Absolutely. And we'll still Absolutely. and we'll still collect the coin on it. I mean, girl, that's just how my brain. That's just my brain thing. It's the same. I would have came up with a whole model agent. Well, girl, you eliminated. Well, come on over here, sign exactly. this contract. Do this. Girl, we gonna keep you working. Exactly. Here's your check. You gonna eat today? Cause drag cause drag race does it. Exactly. Drag exactly. drag race kicks the girls off, but they go on tours. They go on right. Tours. They have YouTube segments. They have right. TV shows. They, they even have like a reunion or something. Mm -hmm. Like, why did we have? Why don't? Why don't we have reunions? Oh, girl, because they don't want y'all coming out there saying why? the same thing. <laughs> they don't want y'all saying the why, why don't we have reunion? Why? Why are you dodging a reunion? Why? What is it? <laughs> why? Why are you dodging <laughs> one? Hmm? Hmm? Girl, you know why. Girl, you know why. They just didn't think Instagram Live was going to be created 10 years later. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, you know bitch. I mean? Boom. Exactly. Okay, so um, I'm trying to get back on my questions. Because we kind of we got apart. But thank you. Alicia, thank you. Seriously, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wish I could hug you right now and just... I wish I could hug you. Oh, I can't wait to see you, man. Gosh. <sighs> Rona, just go somewhere. Right. Y'all, I was telling I was telling Alicia, um, for the people that just think all, all I do is top model interviews. Well, before you before I started doing top model interviews, yeah. I am a content creator as well as a hip hop artist. Um, and you know, I've done things and I actually was going to be booked for UK Pride. UK yes. Black Pride. I was gonna be booked for UK Black Pride in twenty twenty. I was, you know, negotiating my contract and all that other mm -hmm. stuff, and then Rona happened, and I said, well, I can't wait for you to come next year. Like, I'm, I fully believe that we're going to get through the end, other side of this, everyone. So just yes. be positive and be optimistic. It's I all am. good. Nothing to fear. We good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so here is another question. Let's talk about someone um, who, who, who also had an experience on this cycle of top model, which was my wife in my head, as Marie. <laughs> I love her. I love Asmarie so I much. I love her. Asmarie was a strong contender. And then Asmarie got sent home on that episode where she was like, girl, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing yeah. that. <laughs> what were your thoughts on, ooh, ooh, I'm sorry. What were your thoughts on, on that? Like her not wanting to do it and then her eventually going home. And was there any behind the scenes talk that we don't know about, about her feelings about the show? No, I respect it fully. Like, you got to remember, I'm, and I know I keep, uh, uh, like, repeating myself. I'm 19, and these girls are much older than me. So I'm learning. Like, mm -hmm. I'm seeing girls stick up for themselves. Like, Louise, mm -hmm. as Marie. Like, I'm seeing everyone stick up for themselves. Like, I am not doing that. Like, I don't feel comfortable. It's not who I am as an individual, as a person. Like, 
I don't want to booty tooch because I don't booty tooch in real life. So why am I going to be on TV trying to do that? Like, I respect it. And at the end of the day, she is who she is. She's firm in who she is. She's not a child. She's a grown ass woman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what I like about her the most, what people don't know is that she's very deep. Like she's as deep as the ocean. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Sorry. I love how you said that. My battery. She's as deep as the ocean. Like she is, you can have a deep conversation with her. And one thing she said to me, which I don't know if she remembers or not. She was like, listen, you don't need this. You're going to be good. Like no matter what happens, you're going to be all right. And she was right. Mm -hmm. It was hard. Trust me. But I was like, she, 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 the elimination thing, she just, she kind of was ready as well. Like, she kind of knew she was going to stay. Like, she wasn't bothered. I don't think she was bothered, but that's something that you'd have to ask her personally. But I believe she wasn't bothered. She has things going on, you know. She was oh, I know. Empire. She oh, was, I know. She's, she's, she's got shit girl. going on. Like, before she even came in um, America's Model, she had shit going on. Like, she's popping in real life. Mm -hmm. Like, do you know what I mean? So, she was just doing it to, I think, serve, like, make herself be a little bit more known. Which she, she would always tell me, like, just use it for that. Like, don't get mm -hmm. too serious about it. But, you know me, I'm 19. I'm very serious. Like, I want to mm -hmm. win. Like, you know what I mean? So, it's like, I wish I'd probably, like, taken her advice a little bit more. Do you know what I mean? She was older. She was wiser. I have a question, a little side note. Do you know Kenya Moore from um, Real Housewives of Atlanta? Yes. Has anyone ever told you that you, you, you kind of favor her? You know who people tell me I look like all the time? Who? Portia Williams. Oh, I can see that too. Yeah. But, but just right here, I I, I I saw Kenya Moore, like like when your face was really? resting. Yeah, I saw Kenya Moore. Yeah, people always talk. Like, I do get Kenya sometimes, but all the time. Like, can you imagine in South London, someone running up to you saying, Portia! No. <laughs> Portia's beautiful like I'm happy like you know Kenya's gorgeous too but what would Portia be doing in South London please girl I don't I know not. some Hennessy and chicken I don't know exactly yes. <laughs> but yeah as for me for everyone that wants to know beautiful with makeup beautiful without makeup beautiful androgynous beautiful as a woman like fully like clothed femininity everything titty up everything she looks good anyway yes and, like Wow. What was your again. favorite photo shoot on the show? None of them. <laughs> None of them. <laughs> <laughs> the one that I had most fun doing was the music video because I love music and I come from a musical family. Uh -huh. <laughs> but photo shoots? No, we were characters. That's different. It's acting. Because my first photo shoot, I was Elton John. Does anyone remember that? Girl, whoever with a stylist for that photo shoot needs to be shot in the kneecaps and then dropped off in the middle of the highway and forced to walk back to civilization. I was like, how did y'all have... First of all, who came up with... The uh, first, first of all, okay. What I hate in the creative world and, and, and hope you can relate, I hate lazy creative direction so i'm pretty sure someone came to them and was like hey y'all we need to feature this new technology of this spinning camera so they said hmm yes. since it's the british cycle <laughs> let's have them jump it's but, true. Hmm. Yeah. Now, since, we, of this? since we have american girls and uk girls let's just make them people that that and have them jump with each other and no every week we were characters i want everyone to remember the first time we ever saw each other we were dressed up as power rangers the second shoot we had we were elton john and all these are people right the next photo shoot we were, i think we we did a um photo shoot with the kardashians we were babies yeah it, yeah it, it had got really you know at as a fan, at this point, I was over the show. Like, I actually had stopped watching. So, actually, I will say for me about Cycle, I actually didn't watch Cycle 18 when it was airing. I watched yeah. it years later. But Cycles 18, 19, 20, 
uh, 21. Those four cycles, I, like, they're kind of a blur to me because at this sure. point, I was so over... I was so over the way the show was presenting itself now. Like, it had got so cheesy. It was it was dumb. Some of the... Some, like, certain things about the storyline and the contestants didn't make sense. They you were got, just weird. Like, it was weird. It got I'm really weird. I'm sitting there thinking, like, what's happening? Are we living out someone's, like, little fantasy in their mind? No, you like, are. No, no, like, you guys what, were. What are we doing here? Like, now I'm dressed up as... Like, Hello Kitty is a children's cartoon character and you got me skin out they got you what friend skin out <laughs> if anyone doesn't know what skin out means it means i'm in a very sexual like hello kitty is now sexy how did hello kitty get sexy like i don't get it like it was weird man can, can i be honest yes and the top model fans may get upset with me but i don't give up they go up for that Hello Kitty photo shoot. I don't. I'm like, girl, what is this? I hated it. I was just, I don't understand. What's Poor going creative on direction. What? Poor creative direction. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like every time I think about these photo shoots, like I laugh in my head because I'm just like, I don't understand where you're not going with this. And you know, none of those pictures would have been used for anyone's portfolio. No. Not from cycle 18, no. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say that photo, that photo shoot when you guys had that honey porridge on you guys, I thought that was beautiful. Listen, can I just say something about that honey shoot? What? Absolutely hate my picture. And I'm not gonna lie, those were one of the photo shoots that I walked behind the monitor to look at all my pictures. And I think I looked with Ebony Ebony was like, they're going to pick that shot. That shot is the best shot. Not that shot that you guys saw. Another shot. I looked delicious. Mm -hmm. Elimination, I saw that picture. I said, hey. <laughs> What'd she say? I, <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey? Sorry. It wasn't like, honey. It was not... syrup. It was syrup. Nah, like, that, that shoot was sexy. But it was like, you know, we walked home with the syrup. It stuck to us. We had to sit in the bath to get it all off. And, like, our hairs were falling off and everything. It was mad. Yeah, it was mad. They wouldn't let us have a shower there. We had to wait and get to get back to the place, or, like, our residence. Y'all, the group of y'all girls climbed back in that car. Sticky. In and, your bum crack, in your JJ, in everywhere. In and your I'm head. And I'm pretty sure you guys were on ice. So you guys oh, were... Yeah, I'm yeah we're on ice. <laughs> I don't know that we're on ice, so we can't talk about it. I was talking about it, I'm not gonna lie, because I don't really follow like rules and that. Like, <laughs> then I wasn't like following the rules. I would always get in trouble. Like, why she don't shut up? Like, no, like, I'm uncomfortable right now. Like, there's honey in my bum crack. Like, I need to. Yes, you sit down for a couple hours and you put honey in your exactly. ass and see if it don't itch. So I said a sticky situation. I'm done. Girl, I'm here you go. <laughs> And the other photo shoot that I really that I really enjoyed was the one where you guys had those couture dresses. No, well, not the dress, but it was one of the dresses in the car. No, I, I love that. Do you know why? Because what? when I got to it, I realized that Floyd did his music video there. Get it, shawty, get it, shawty. That song, yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. And no one knew what I was talking about. Uh-huh. Because I like hip-hop, <laughs> so obviously I knew, like, oh, my God, this is where he shot. So I got really excited, and then I saw the cars. I was like, oh, my days. Like, yes. <laughs> And it, no, because I'm like a G, like triple OG. Like, I'm like, oh my days, yes. Like, because in my past life, I think I was like a pimp or something. So I was like, the, I was there. Like, I was like, oh my God, yes. And then when I saw the dresses, I was like, oh my God, yes. Then she gave me my shoes and she said, these are a size, I'm going to just make it up, right? These are a size five. And I know you're a size seven, but just squeeze your feet. Hmm? You do understand that my superpower is legs, so they're gonna see my feet. And if the shoes are not fitting correctly, so I don't know if you guys like if anyone wears heels here, right? If the shoes are too small, you're gonna feel like you're like wobbly. You can't really like stand properly. 
on top of that, they were like peak toe. So my feet like kept sliding into the front because they're high. So my feet kept sliding to the front, sliding to the front. It was just, oh. It was tragic. It was mad. It was mad. <sighs> Alicia, I really don't even want to ask you any more questions about this show. I feel like you have blessed us with enough. Now, if, if we want to sit on, we can sit on here and chat about some other stuff, girl. I know we should. What you want to talk about? Because I can I ask you some questions, please. You want to ask? Yeah, like. You want to ask me questions? Yeah. Like what? I'm nervous because now. No one ever like asked you... me questions. No one. No, I no one like ever asked you the question. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you interview people, but people like don't really know much about you as well. Like, oh, well, they, obviously they do because they follow you and they can see. But like, tell us a little bit about your music. Like, what's the inspiration? Why music? Like, what do you think your sound is? When's um, the EP album dropping? Like, you know, when's the next single? Oh, you, know? you guys are getting a video very soon from me. Okay. And I think the girls are going to be very happy. Okay, okay. Because I'm stepping my pussy up. Okay. Um, but no, so a uh, quick story. I started rapping when I was in high school. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I was a singer at first, sang in church. I eventually went to school for the voice. But when I was in high school, I was a nerd. Like, you know, I was a nerd. I was a cool nerd, but I was a nerd. Mm -hmm. And all my friends used to get together and rap um, at lunchtime. And mm -hmm. so I wanted to be cool. So I wrote this like 16 out one day. I posted a video on my page like a long time ago. I wrote this 16 okay. out. And um, I was a student body president. So like, I was like, so when people saw me get on the mic, they were like, what is he about to do? Like, what about to happen? <laughs> but I wrote it, I performed it, and everyone, and everyone just went crazy. They were like, oh my God. And from you that day, really I was rap. like- Like, you really got buzz. Thank you. And from that no, day, I was really just like, buzz. I just want to be a rapper now. Cause I like, I like the feeling that I got. Like, I like mm -hmm. the feeling that people can look at me and didn't think that's what I did. But after right. they saw me do it, it was like, okay, yeah. Yeah, like, I like it. So, mm -hmm. I have another question. What do you think, you know, everybody's special. Like, no matter if you don't think you're special, there's something special about you. There's something that someone loves about you so much. What do you think your, like, superpower is? Or what do you think your your specialness is? Um, I think my superpower is that I make people feel good. You do. I think that's what it is. You um, do. It I think you make it... people feel very comfortable and very safe. And not a lot of people have the ability to do that. Thank Some people you. can make you feel comfortable, but not safe. Mm. And well, something can make you. you feel kind of safe, but not really comfortable. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I feel safe, but I don't really want to say much to you because I don't mm -hmm. know if you're gonna like. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? So yeah, so you think that your superpower is like, you know, making people feel good and. Mm -hmm. I like people. Like, like I just like people. So like, I just like people. So I like. Right. And I, I like to see people smile. So cool. like, it's, it's nothing for me just to be like, hey, girl, come give me a hug or. You know, what's the tea? Come over here and do stuff like that. I just, I, I like people and I just think it, the, 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 the gift shows through like stuff like this and it shows through music and it shows through when I, you know, the reality TV show that I do. But the gift is, I think God put me on this earth to make people smile. I have one more question. Okay. Actually, I might have more, but just this one, I, it just came to my head. I know you're on Chasing Atlanta at the moment. But what other reality TV show would you do? That I would do or that I am doing? <laughs> okay, because we know, we, know, we know that you, you we know I'm you're doing shady. bits. I'm being shady, I'm being shady. No, we know you're doing bits already. But like, if there was any other, which one would you, would you do? And the check was right, everything's right. Check was good, contract's good. Like, which one would you do? To be quite honest, I would do, if, if the check was right, right, if the contract was right, girl, put me on top model. Put me yeah, on top I model. Be, I think you'd be amazing. Because I'm going to walk into that room with so much confidence. No mm -hmm. one's... You're, you're going to think God is going to kill you if you send me home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I, okay, so top model would be top model. And why why top model? 
Um, I like the competition aspect aspect of it. Like you know, I get I, I have the opportunity to show a bitch I'm better than you. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then um, just like the challenge of it all, and it's and, you know it's rooted in fashion and personality and being able to you know whatever whatever. And I mean, I think I have a nice face and a nice body. You have a and, beautiful face, and I feel like I move well and I talk well and. Right, right. I think what people fail to understand is being a model is not just about being cute, like and having a nice face and being symmetrical on either either side and like having eyes that like are this far apart. It's actually about personality as well. And I think you have to be a little bit of a humane because you are around pers around a lot of people, and I believe that when you're sorry, guys, I'm so sorry, sorry. Um. um when you're when you're cute people assume that you're not a nice person and i think that it's important to be a nice person it's important and I to think be a nice that, person uh -huh. no I, no I, I was agreeing with you yeah and i think you're an, a really nice person like you're good looking but like i think people will be pleasantly surprised when they speak to you mm. but you know what i think i do get that a lot where people right. who have become who who, who know my social media personality and then mm. like my youtube personality on that show that i'm on and yeah. they think i'm a good time but like they also think oh he may be a little bitchy girl i'm i'm just getting kenya more from you right now just the way you're looking at me it's kenya more <laughs> like just just like the way you're just looking it's just it's it's kenya more. She, she tilts her head a lot when she speaks mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. she tilts her head but a lot. another show that i used to want to be on was um and it jogged my memory because i see people in the comments i used to want to do like a show like the challenge or like like a world rules or like an amazing race because i think i'm smart enough i'm not athletic but i'm smart okay 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 so is that like a quiz show like it's like the it's like a competition show where they they make you do like all of these like different games and like oh. um like sports thing. Big Brother too. That's another show I I really like. Big oh Brother. my god, you would win. You think so? Yes. We've, especially if you came to the UK one. Should I audition? I would love you to audition. It, I think they were auditioning uh, like a while before Rona, like way before Rona. But I, I don't know what, what happened with that. But if they if they all just please do it, like honestly please, because we they they're starting to introduce people from different countries and stuff like that, and it's so much more interest interesting. Like honestly, I think you'd be amazing on Big Brother. I don't know about the ones in US because we don't really get those channels here. Like we just about got BET, like you know what I mean. We don't really yeah, yeah. We don't really get those channels here, so. Um, I think if you was on Big Brother, we, we would see it. And I think you'd have an, a huge fan base in the UK. Huge. Something to think about. Epic. Oh, here they go right now. They're talking about, please audition. You know what, y'all? Alicia White told me I should audition for Big Brother in the UK. I am going to work on an audition tape just, just because she told me to do it. Please do. You're going to get on. You know I'm a bit witchy. Like, I know this. <laughs> You're gonna get on. <laughs> Just get my little candles together, do a little. You're gonna get on. That I can guarantee. I know you will. But see, my thing too, friend, is. I'm gonna do it. Just do it. I mean, what's the worst that it can? What can happen? What they're gonna say? No. They're no, gonna... right. They... They're not. The worst, the worst that I can say is no. We don't want you, and I'll just go about my business. Exactly, and there's gonna be other shows that pick you up. That want to work with you, that want to do stuff with you, and you you know what, Alicia? I think for me, in in a lot of things, and like just what I do, I don't like I don't let things or people intimidate. Like no one can intimidate me. Like you just can't you can't intimidate me. Like yeah. bitch, what bitch? You can't yeah, intimidate exactly. me because in my brain, ugh, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go into it because I feel like that's that's really important. Like. Deep down inside, I know, like, I know I'm a bad bitch. No one comes from me nothing. Yes! I know. Yes! But, like, I'm humble. Sometimes I'm too humble. Like, my friends tell me, my cousins tell me, like, bitch, if you don't just do something, like, do something. Why are you like Yes. Like, listen, like, sometimes you have to know when to, like, pin it back. Because when it's go time, it's really going to be go time. And these bitches going to see me. Yes. And you in know my what I mean? Brain... I don't need to do too much. I'm not one of those people that feel like, 
I need to do too much. Like I do too much already. Like I'm tall. I'm I'm flipping skinny. Like I stand out. Like I look like a flipping alien. Like when when I go on the street, people stare at me. Like do you know what I mean? So I'm already doing too much. That just by nature. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So we've like one thing I've noticed about you, Oliver, which is very similar to me. Like we know when to like rein it in and give other people a chance and so on and so forth. But when it's like go time, obviously watching you and chasing Atlanta, you go. Like you go. And when you go, people are intimidated by that shit. And why should I humble down my greatness? Because I'm just great. Like it's like I'm a knockout. You're a knockout. Everyone can be a knockout, but everyone can be a knockout. Looking at ever someone else, oh, why are he acting like that? Like he think he all that. Like why is she acting like that? She thinks she did. Who else is gonna tell you? If I can't tell myself that you cute, you're smart, you have what it takes. Who else is gonna tell me that other than my mom and my dad and my brother? Like mm -hmm. who else? I, it starts from within. I'm sorry. Someone jogged my someone jogged my memory to to speak to what you should say. Yes, ma'am. Because on the inside of Oliver's brain, I think I'm badass. I think you know. Right. I think I show up in the world physically well. I think yes. I have a style and an appearance that's really great. I know I'm smart. I know I'm talented. I know I'm beautiful. I know I can out speak anybody. I know that's that it. I have the gift of gab, and no one can ever catch me off guard. You can't catch me off guard, bitch. That's how I know Tyra would have sent me home. You see, and I love that. Like, I love to hear people talk talk like this. And I feel like, no disrespect, but like, when it's a black woman talking so highly of herself, it's like, sis, no, stop. No, mm -hmm. be regular. I'm not about to be regular because you see black women as regular. I'm not regular. Like, when God made me, he took time. Because let me tell you why. Like, he could have made me, like, the ugliest girl in the world. When I'm with people, I make them feel great. Mm hmm you that, that that's something you can't see that's energy mm -hmm. my mom birthed me good like you get me <laughs> my mom and dad came together, like the heavens opened up like literally i am a freaking knockout and everyone should find that part in them where they can say i'm a knockout there's i don't have to be the prettiest girl i don't have to be the cutest guy i just work on what's what my strengths are I know that when I do my hair and my makeup, I'm a knockout. Even when I'm not doing hair and makeup, I look like like a 12-year-old little girl, but I'm cute as hell. Like, do you know what I mean? I can speak to someone. They can have a bad day. I'm going to make sure you leave me better. Yes. I'm going to make sure you're mm -hmm. going to be that bitch by the time I finish with you. Yes, ma'am. Believe That's it. That's for sure. I don't do like, because I'm like very emotional. And like, if you cry around me, I'm probably going to cry because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm one, I feel like I'm a feeler. But we're going to stop crying. And after we stop crying... You're going to get your shit running. together. Yes. <laughs> You're going to get your shit together. And we're going to keep it pushing because we got right. stuff to do. We got 24 hours. If, if it's that bad, we got 25 hours to cry. And the next 24 hours, the devil's going to wish we, we weren't born. Alicia... We're stepping uh, on the devil. I feel like I'm talking day. to my twin right now. Yo. I feel like I'm talking to my twin. That you, What you just said is what I carry with me every freaking day you have to be like this like stop thinking that you can't have what other people have you can have that and more and more and it's already way more. Like, you unless have you it. Just, if you just took that time sorry oliver to cut you off oh, no, if you're you just fine. took that time just to just concentrate on yourself like do you know what you can do in six months six months you can change your whole life use me as an example like the girl that you saw on on um America's Next Top Model is not the same girl now. Like, look at me. Like, yo, like, come on. It can happen. Yeah, I'm not on billboards and I'm not doing this and I'm not doing... Well, actually, I was on a billboard. But um, <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> I actually was. But, like, you know, like, people always assume that you should be doing more. Like, why are you not doing more? You should be doing this. Leave me alone. I've got people in my life that love me. Mm -hmm. I don't hurt people. I get dressed and I look good. I know I pray. I have a meal every night. I have a bed. I have good friends. It's not all about like fame and fortune, but just work on what you, what's special about you and stop mm -hmm. watching other people. Yes. When I see when I see girls online and they look great, I tell them. Well, because Alicia, that's because you know who you are, and 
you know your greatness exists outside of other people it's something that 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 that's you someone else being great does not infringe on you being great you know this Absolutely not. you know this so it's like bitch we all can be great Mm -hmm. There's so and you are always a reflection of somebody else like when i look at oliver i see myself like yeah okay i'm not male or whatever but like i see myself i'm not a the, man the, the energy you there, you there. <laughs> but the energy is just there like i know he's a bad b like i know it i feel it that like, do, you, do you get what i'm trying to say mm -hmm. and i i see that in people that don't see it in themselves I see in people, like, even in uh, America's at Tomorrow, I had to speak to a little girl because she told me that kids at her school think she's ugly. And I'm looking at this little girl like, you, is you crazy? Like, you're a little girl now, but when you get to, like, 18, you're going to be, so, you're going to grow into your looks and mm -hmm. you're going to, like, your face is going to change and you're just going to be so, like, you've got a beautiful personality, you're beautiful, like, your hair, look at you. I just wish that people would take the time just to, like, you're over here looking at me. When she, you should be watching what's going on over there. Mm -hmm. What you're doing. Yes. Focus. Focus, bitch. Focus. That's what you should be doing. All this time you're spending talking about me and thinking that I'm the, I'm arrogant and I'm conceited. Why is it wrong that I love myself? Because in that person's brain, it is wrong. It just what? shows, like, it just shows, like, more love needs to be pour in, poured into this world. We need to start speaking life on people. Mm -hmm. Like, we need to start, stop this cancelling um, culture that we have. Like, people grow, people get older, people, you know, people change. And evolve. All the time. Mm -hmm. But people can change, you people know what I mean, change. for the better. And I think we need to be reasonable when we're cancelling people. Like, R. Kelly, for me, is cancelled. Oh yeah, she's vanquished. Cancelled. She's right? a vanquished girl. That's what, it has is a girl. Not the Wi-Fi got cancelled. Wait, no, no. We're gonna take Alicia off. I think I. What I'm thinking, guys, is that her phone probably died. That's what I'm thinking. Let me take her off. If she does not come back, and if she DMs me, I have my other phone right here. Um, I just want to thank everyone. First of all, I want to thank Alicia for taking the time out to watch. I'm sorry, not to watch. For joining this live with me, answering your, your questions, my questions, reviewing Cycle 18. I want to thank Annalise, who popped in. I want to thank Amanda, who popped in. I want to thank all of you guys who popped in, stayed with us, and watch. I'm going to see if I can get her back on. I'm going to see if I can get her back on. I'm pretty sure her phone died, but if not, I just want to end this with thanking you guys. Yes, this video will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. You, you will be able to watch it there later. And um, until next time, guys, I have a lot of chats. I'm talking to Kelly Jacob from Cycle 3 on tomorrow, same time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so make sure you tune in for that. You can go to my YouTube channel, Oliver Twix. That's Oliver, T-W-I-X-T, on YouTube to catch this chat and all of my past America's Next Top Model chats, as well as some of my blogs, my prank videos, and whatnot and whatnot, whatever the hell I got posted on there. But until next time, guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And be sure to pray and kegel. <laughs>